Acustats Video Productions presents from the Belle of Baton Rouge in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the legends of One Pocket. I'm Bill in Cadona, along with Grady, the Professor Matthews. Grady, the tournament started with 47 players, I believe it was. 49. Or 49 players, and now it's down to just three players left in the tournament. There's one player on the winner's side, Buddy Hall. Yeah, he's played great this event, and in fact, his last match, he defeated Zeph and Ray is 4-1. to one. And there weren't any good rolls or bad rolls in that match. He just manhandled Efren. Anyway, the winner of this match that we're going to do commentary on right now gets the right, or earns the right, I guess, to face Buddy Hall. A dubious distinction at best. Anyway, what a great match we have here. We have Shannon Dalton and Efren Reyes. Yeah, it figures it'd be a pretty good match. There's going to be a lot of excitement in this match. At least that's what I anticipate. In the meantime, let's get back and touch on Buddy Hall once again, okay? The jury was out on Buddy Hall, whether or not, you know, he was a strong enough one-pocket title to claim, one-pocket player to claim the one-pocket uh, championship title last year. Well, he's a defending champion. That's what I, you know, now I guess uh, the jury's out in his back end, and I guess it's okay. Yeah. You know, he's proven himself once again. As yeah, he's really uh, had a terrific tournament. Quickly paced, I might add. Uh, there were a couple of his matches where he was playing somebody who was a bit of a deliberate player, as his buddy, and you suggested that it might, in fact, be the slowest match of the particular round. In fact, he's been one of the first finished every round. Yep. In the meantime, Efren Reyes is the, is the man that he defeated to get to a... Uh now, the Shannon's going to have to break better than this or he, if he wants to win this match. Efren's got a nice cross corner bank on the six he'll use a touch of right English it's not going to go in it oh goes, goes boy. up a little bit oh he's not happy with that well banking the 15 is no good here he I don't like uh, doing anything with the six uh, he's coming off the two it looks like or is he banking the 15 back in the 15 is pretty uh it's coming off the two. That's a good shot. Now, look what he did here. That's good. Well, Efren may have a shot to bank the 13 and pull the cue ball down on his left side of the six. Or he could go down a table, given how the one two ended up. But I like drawing this back for position. If he makes a bank, he's out. Nice shot. Take a look at the 11 and the 12 to the right of the foot spot, which I believe he's going to take a look at it now. Yeah, they look pretty good. And we're going to see him shoot this uh, left-handed, I think. Or maybe he can reach across the table. No, I can't see it quite like that. All right, he's going to get the stretch system provided to us courtesy of Mike Danner. This is November 1st, if it matters, 1998. And we're in Baton Rouge. If the 11 and 12 are lined up into Efren's pocket, then he'll apply a little bit of left-hand English le uh, left on the cue ball to avoid contacting the, uh, the 12 ball. Well, he's using the other English, the way he's bridging it. Uh, does he want to go into the 10 here? He's going to have to get the bridge out of the way. Well, he played to go into the 10, which uh, would suggest that the ball wasn't dead. No, it wasn't dead. Had, it, had the ball been dead, then he would have applied a little bit of left hand English, avoiding contacting the 10 or the 12, going up table for position for the combination. Now, here's an Efren special here. Can he cut this in with inside English? He can cut this in with any English. No, it doesn't look like he's going for it. He's just going to play safe. I don't know if he's uh, if he's snookered Shannon from the 15 ball. Or not. Well, if he hasn't, he gave Shannon a great shot here. And, of course, he's a terrific banker anyway. And this carries with it almost certain position because the 12 ball goes. Well, if The 9-4-8, I he, believe. If go. he makes the bank... It is natural position. And he has made the bank. Good shot, good shot. He can now pocket the 12th. I notice he hit that with nice crispness, uh, a little authority, which lends itself to accuracy. And also position. Right, right. <laughs> well, he's not a bunt style player. No, he, he's definitely not guilty of that, that's for sure. I think he's going to probably, if I see it correctly, play position for the four ball here. I can't tell. Uh, I think the nine goes. But for sure he's got the four eight. 
He could get in trouble if he tries to break up the one, two there by the left-hand side pocket, though. I'm not sure I'd do that. Okay, the nine goes. Now, look what he's done here. Nine, eight, five, uh, I think, is his plan. Nice. And that's perfect, and this is easily reachable for a left-handed player. And we'll have the ball count for you in just a second here, I think. Uh, well, it looks like he has six balls. He's playing for two. Yeah. He's got rather a, rather an awkward angle on the eight. I don't think it's workable. I don't think he can do much with it. I thought he might be able to pull out above and beyond the five. Maybe not. Well... The indecision when he caught the fly. That's, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to do that for you, years. Me too. How did he do that? <laughs> he can't do it. I'm not quick enough to do that. <laughs> we should show that on. Uh, maybe we'll get a replay on that after, <laughs> after this game. That's beautiful there. <laughs> you know, he's from uh, Somerset, Kentucky. You reckon they practice that there? Yeah, there's probably more flies down there. Yeah. More prevalent there. Man, that's faster than Cornbread Red reaching for a chip. Are you reaching for the check? Uh, I get my share of checks. Don't worry about that. Yeah. I wish I didn't sometimes. Well, that's why I was referring that uh, <clears throat> he was a little bit faster than you reaching for the check. And that was real fast. Okay. Oh, if Shannon right. has all the balls, he only needs one, and this is a very workable shot on the five ball. That was a nice shot, too, uh, yeah, and it, one that showed quite a bit of confidence. It certainly did. The eight ball put him on the hill position, and you would think that uh, he would be quite thankful to get on the hill against Efren Reyes in the first What's game. What's he looking up there for? After uh, leaving a bank on the six after the, after the break, and uh, he went all out to try to play position for the five. A little risky, but, you know, in spite of that, he was able to do the job. That's game number one. Well, hey, wait a minute. Uh, it's not game. No, no wonder he went and played position for the five like he did. He needed, he needed three balls. Yeah, Efren must have one. That's what he was looking at to see if he thought the, uh, this will go. I'd want to hit just to the left of the middle of the in rail up there. It's just like that. And this isn't quite going to go. No, but I do believe you were right. I do believe it could have gone had he hit, uh, he struck it accurately. Reyes steps to the table, looking at a seven to nothing deficit. He would like to uh, shoot the one to the two, but he don't know what's going to happen with the two if he does that. You know, it's going to be hard for him to control the two balls, so he's going to probably have to knock the fifth, 11 out of there. Maybe he'll maybe he'll try to kick the 11 softly or go two cushions behind it. Or I don't. He's in the spot. May go off the seven ball. He's in the spot the here. Well, that was a good shot. Uh, I don't know if it is or not. Yeah, and that was a good shot because now Shannon can't hit balls down table from where he is. No, but he can knock the three uh, out of that four ball cluster if he wishes and cue all back down on the end rail. I think that's probably I think the right shot. Definitely, I would definitely do that. I would, I would safe up the three, putting it on my side of the table, open up the pocket for the seven. He just wants to move this a few inches like that. Yep. Good shot. Now he's opened up the pocket for the seven, put the three on his side of the table, and he snookered him behind the 10 and 14. I'll tell you what else he's done, too. He makes it where Efren uh, pretty much has to move something a little bit, you know, uh, away from uh, the rack end of the table. Right. Which so he doesn't want to do. No, so he's, uh, he's also forced Efren to uh, cooperate with the style of play. He wants him to play, at least at this juncture. Now Efren's tempting him here to shoot the two-railer. Which isn't really a bad tactic at all right now. It's a good strategy because if I was Shannon, I'd probably 
try to reposition a couple of balls down. Well, I think if I'm saying and I hit the right side of the 14 with the 10 ball and the cue ball over to the right hand side rail and back down, but I think he's going to play the two railer. Uh, right. He's going to play it, but uh, see, I uh, I think a little bit differently, particularly when I'm playing Efren Reyes. There's a guy that can really jump up at you and steal all of the balls, regardless of where they're positioned. I've seen him do that a number of times. Well, he's going to shoot, uh, if not this shot, in a shot or two. He wants to find something, and he'd like it to be as high percentage as possible with uh, some reward if he happens to make it. This is a very effort-like shot here. I mean, he's... He's able to cut the 14 ball in and load it up with inside English and kill it behind the 10 ball. That's the kind of stuff he does. Well, if I was Efren, I'd try to move some of those balls on Shannon's side of the table, open them up a little bit. Well, but he's, he's not a, an ordinary mortal. Balls on the other side of the table don't really hurt him. Well, game number one is another bit of pocket beard history. And he's playing a little tentatively. Do you suppose that thrashing at the hands of Buddy Hall might have him a little lethargic? That's conceivable. Well, Shannon needed a lot more than that. Oh, my. Well, Efren must have made a couple of balls in the beginning of the rack, and we didn't know about it. Okay, one to nothing, Shannon Dalton. And while we have a little respite in the proceedings, let me mention that this great AccuSat product or any of a host of others is available simply by calling 1-800-828-0397. Oh, it's disappointing. Paul Jones, our good friend, passed away, and I know he would have had a blast at this tournament. Uh, Chicago Paul, Highway Paul, in some quarters he was known as. Uh, a health nut, and he died from uh, perhaps uh, running a little too much and a little too hard. It's a shame. Uh, we all loved Paul. Now, do you try to go back on the side of the stack here? Yeah, that, that's that's free. It's it's lying natural to do that. I want to hit the two ball here, if that's what I'm going to do, just like that. And that's a good shot. Now, I'll tell you, and all of a sudden, uh, Billy, the tone... Uh, here, at least this afternoon in, in Baton Rouge, is uh, not leaning in Efren Reyes's direction. Now, Shannon, uh, I don't think he's got much on this 12 ball other than to knock it on his side. He'd like to cut this 10 ball. Oh, maybe if he can, to the first diamond there by the left-hand side pocket. I didn't think he could. He wants to come back between the 10 and 13 here. Now watch this. No English. He wants the cue ball to be traveling slowly when it reaches the desired place. All right, he didn't quite get it in there, but that's okay. Uh, I think, uh, actually, I think that's better because he took the 10 out of play. Yeah, you're probably right. And he didn't leave Efren something to skim off of and uh, get around or behind uh the 14 ball by Shannon's pocket. Now, he's got a shot here, uh, but he's got to be careful he doesn't get a kiss, and he doesn't have a full pocket on the bank, but he can bank the 11 for his pocket and go three rails with the cue ball. But if he does that, he's got to be sure that the cue ball falls in short of the 12 ball. He doesn't want to hit the 12 ball after the third rail. He's also got a three railer on the 12. Yeah, he does, but he can't shoot that. He'd have to elevate the cue, and there's a kiss on that shot, and a possible scratch. I think this is the right shot, and I want to hit this too thickly. I, I might even hit it into the 13 if I'm effing, but okay, he's not going to do that. I don't like what he's done there. He's giving Shannon a shot on the one to reposition it on his side of the table. Well, he can't see the one, I don't think. He can't? Uh-uh. Well, if he can't see the one, then it's then uh, what he did wasn't bad at all. There's a place where I might even consider taking a scratch two rails into the uh, 3, 15, 13. The bottom side of the rack. And just leave the cue ball right on top of those balls. 
I don't want to risk trying to go off the ten ball and over to the side rail and back down to the end rail. Too often you'll leave a bank nah, on that. I, I don't shot. like that either. I like I like two cushions into the stack, and I I think he can hit it with the speed that he can drive a ball to a cushion and open up some balls on his side of the table. Well, at the same maybe, time. but I don't know. That's risky. Uh, I think that the, he's got a a lot of protection with the three ball if he chooses to go two rails into the stack. I think the three ball is, uh, offers him a lot of protection on this shot. Well, that's not a bad shot. Well, he did exactly what he had uh, attempted to do. He's got the maximum out of his effort there. He wanted to take a ball away off of Efren's side, relocate the cue ball, where Efren couldn't see the 14 ball position near his pocket. So therefore, it was a relatively simple, thought-out shot, executed perfectly, and then, you know, wasn't extremely productive, but he got the job done. Well, Efren doesn't have much here. Uh, he can't brush the 10 and go over to the side rail. There's no three railer on just one ball. Now, how did I know that was a kiss? Because I was, uh, it's happened to me enough times that I learned how to calculate where the cue ball is going to be according to the thickness of the hit I make on the object ball. And when Grady tells you there's a kiss on a three-railer, he's usually right. He's left him a shot on the 12. Yeah, he can make the 12, sure. He's got 12, 14, 1 for sure. Uh, with other distinct possibilities looming. Uh, he didn't get a good angle here, though. But he can go rail first on this if he desires. Uh, or draw it out of there, maybe, with uh, low writing. I don't like drawing it out of there. Ah, but Shannon's good at this shot. <laughs> you know what kind of stroke Didn't you have I to have to, to play to break the stack up after drawing it a half a table length? didn't appear that uh, he knew exactly where that cue ball was going, by the way. Well, not on a shot like that. Just power draw. It's tough to gauge. Ball count is two for Shannon, none for Efren. Big game for Dalton right here. Bigger for Reyes. I wouldn't try anything too fancy here. I just knocked this on my side. I don't like the side of the stack that he left Efren on. Efren is very adept at finding ways um, from lies of balls that seem awkward to, to, to get a lot of apples by his pocket. Like, as you look at this, who knows that the 9-3 doesn't kiss off the 15 in such a way as to make it awkward for, for Shannon. Well, if the 9-3 if the suggests that it's going to, go, going to go into the 15, the 3, that is, he should shoot the 6 into the 9 now. But he can hit the 11 here and then the 6 with the cue ball. There's a lot of things he can do here. Now, that little innocuous-looking shot uh, may have Efren, or excuse me, Shannon, in some trouble. All right, the bank goes, I think. Uh, he doesn't have a full pocket, but he can't protect against the 2-ball. Well, as long as he leads him straight in on the two, I don't think he's going to have a, you know, create much of a problem for himself. So if he leads him straight in on the two, if he happens to pocket the bank, then he'll eliminate the two from the position that it's in. But uh, in the event that he doesn't pocket the bank, if he leads him a straight in angle with some distance, then Efren can't play position. And uh, he didn't leave much distance, did he? No. And he didn't leave it straight in. No, he didn't. So therefore, he didn't execute the shot to get the, the full benefit well, from it. I think the 13 goes in, in Efren's pocket. The problem is he can't play position on that because then he cannot get a shot on another ball. Uh, if he goes rail first here, which is a nice shot, he could give you an You've got to use a high shot. ball or just above center ball, hit it easy, and try to float underneath the one. How about going two cushions, maybe 
going into the yeah, 15 Yeah, you can do it. This is a center ball, a lot of left English. Open up some balls here. One, two cushions. I thought you could go into these balls and slide over like this. And look at that shot that he made. That's a nice shot. Yeah. Well, the nine's the one I want to hit here, and I'd like to hit it thickly, but I like to cut it slightly to the left as we look at it on the monitor. Yeah, that's exactly what he did, and he yeah. after hitting the nine, good shot. He, then he went into the fifteen. So the shot that Shannon Dalton shot could could come back and cost him quite a bit. Okay, the ball count is two apiece. And uh, let's talk about. Uh, uh, one of Efren's fortes, which of course is ball running. He may be the best player in the world at, at, at running out the way he should. Uh, I see the 15, 13, 7, but then he's got some work to do. He's got to do something to break out some balls here. I don't think I like this angle. He's going to have to bank the 9 next, isn't he? No, he can fall on the seven, but can he reach it? He's got a stretch of a great distance over the table. I don't know if he has the ability to do that. I don't either. And he, uh, he looks like he's going to have to use the bridge, and if he uses the bridge on this shot, it's certainly going to de diminish the, the effectiveness of the stroke that he needs to get onto the seven with. I don't know that I even like that. I might just play to bank the nine here. Oh, that's a nice shot, nice shot. Actually, it was a, almost, if if you will, a perfectly positioned shot. Yeah. It looks like it's just a little bit low to be well, perfect. Now, this carries with it an extra benefit, Billy. He's going to try to knock the 11 into the 5, too. Why not? Uh, kind of a just below center ball. And that might uh, work wonders with the 5-3. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, presto, you got three more balls to go. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to control the cue ball because he, he hit it a little bit too hard. and he's Well, see, I didn't like him uh, drawing that. It's, I thought he did it with a just below center ball. Now, he can't play the combination, I don't think. I think he's just going to have to give Shannon this 10 ball. But it's not so easy to control the 9 ball here if you do it with the 9. If he hits the, his right edge of the 10 ball, uh, the cue ball goes a little faster than he would like it to because he's got to cut the 9 some. Right. Right. Uh, he can ticky it, but uh, that's, oh, that's he doesn't pretty want high to do risk. That. That's pretty high risk. And uh, he can also shoot the 9 into the long rail first and move it that way, but he has to hit it with some speed because the 9 ball is not going to really move that much unless you hit it with some speed. Right, right. That's my point. Uh, this is awkward. And he doesn't have a kick on the nine. The four ball precludes him from kicking across the table and, and knocking in the ten in that fashion. So He's looking at the rail first. He might try be trying to make this. This will go in Efren's pocket if you... Uh, no, all right. I see what... He, see, that was touchy. He got a kiss on that ball. He's a little yeah. fortunate he didn't leave a, a shot. All right. Efren has five balls, Shannon three. And now the Shannon Dalton I know doesn't even worry about the three, five, eleven, nine. He just banks the four. I don't think so. Well, I know maybe not, but uh, I don't think so. I tell you one thing, pal. Much. That issue is quite a statement if he happens to do that and make it. Five you know, three. we forgot to, to to catch him killing that fly or whatever that was. I would, I'd like, I wouldn't mind seeing that if we can uh, get it again. And of course, that brought a grimace from our producer. You're 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 behind. You're behind 5-3 here. You really don't want to bank a ball like the four ball right now and just give this game to Efren. I think if I were Shannon, I'd make him earn this game. And since the balls are positioned the way they are, 5-3 deficit, it really isn't all that big right now. No, that's true. You know, so if Efren's going to win this game, he's going to have to earn it. And, if, and by Shannon telling him that, that he's going to have to earn it, he's sending him a message. It's not going to be easy. If you go after you know, a low percentage bank like that just because you're two balls behind, I think it's you're sending Efren a different message that, hey, I'm kind of like uh, afraid of you, and uh, I'm trying to, you know, grasp well, my straws here. My only point here. was that a lot of guys, I feel, show Efren too much respect. Uh, I mean, top one-pocket players like Shannon, that's an easy bank. Now, he didn't shoot it, but that's okay, too. Uh, whatever he's in the mood for is fine. I mean, he's in the uh, the match to go to the finals, and... Uh, Let's see what happens. 
We most definitely are not going to see a wedge game out of these two players. No. And uh, for anybody that doesn't see or hear about that, Billy uh, coined a new term for Nick Varner's style of play when he's behind. <coughs> he wants all the seven or eight balls to be in one corner and form a nice, almost perfect wedge with none of the balls more than a half inch apart. <laughs> and he wants to do battle one ball at a time. And Billy also <laughs> suggests that he gets in stroke doing that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, that friend may have a shot here. It looks like it's fairly close. Nope. He looked at it and uh, right away just looked elsewhere. Uh, combination bank, I don't think he can protect against the eight ball. He may just hit the right side of the 11, float down a table like this. Good shot. And uh, Shannon doesn't uh, have much here. Well, I'd just uh, come off the three here, I think. I'd come off the side of the three and come straight back down the table. I don't know. He may uh, hit the 11 too thick and knock it two rails. I don't know. I don't know if I like moving this three here. Well, I don't know. He may not like moving the three, but I don't like the position I'm in if I'm Shannon. I certainly want to. Well, the eight ball doesn't bank. What's the matter with just bunting the nine down there like this? Well, now he's got the three ball to bank. If he chooses to do that, I don't think he'll shoot this three. Well, he can bank, shoot, but he can bank the three and draw the ball back down table. There's nothing wrong with that. Or else he can opt to just shoot the nine and leave Shannon long again. I don't think this is a good shot. If you feel if you feel you can make it, it's a good shot. Well, look at this. He's got to leave a great banker. A uh, very reasonable bank. It looks great when you make that and, and run out. But well, I, I don't think he was any 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 less than even money to make that bank. He was right on top of it. He had a good feel of it. Yeah, but that's a hard bank because when he cuts that three ball to his left, it puts a lot of right English on it. And drawing it makes it even harder. It shortens it up a bit more. Then when he applies right English to the bank to... to try to get all that crap off the object ball, it makes it even harder to judge. Now, there's a kiss here, Shannon thinks, but he's going to try to bank the eight uh, between the five and six. Now, this is one of his strengths. This is a difficult bank. He's really I don't think this is room. that hard a bank. He just needs to twist the eight slightly. Not much room for a margin. There's not much oh, he's got some room there. Not much margin for error on this shot. You notice that he didn't even come close to making well, it. Well, he didn't twist it enough. Well, that's because if he twisted, he might hit that six or the four and then loses, loses well, the game. Oh, he's going to be sure he doesn't do that. Well, that's what he did. <laughs> he was double sure. <laughs> All right, Efren cannot bank this. There's, there's no place to position the cue ball down the table that he's sure of uh, being safe. So he just has to play safe here. Played more than safe. He put another ball on his side of the table. Once it even up the apples. <coughs> well, now I might consider <coughs> crossing the three. Is he backing at the eleven? I don't know. Maybe. It could be free if he yeah, has he the right angle. Yeah, the eleven. Yeah. Not a bad shot. Efren has to do something with the 11. I like kicking it from behind. Yeah, I do too. That way he can control the cue ball, leave it down this end of the table. And he can try to bank it on his side, repositioning the cue ball on his side of the table behind a 3-9. But that's a little risky because he might sell out the 3 if he attempts to do that. I he think can't do that or he'd scratch or something. That'd yeah, well, that's a little risky, I said, you know. But uh, I, I kick it from behind, and this isn't bad either. He doesn't want that to go in. 
No, for you aspiring one pocket players too. Look at the way he just hit that nice kick safety. That's the way you play uh, the shot if your pocket were up there where the 11 ended up hung up in the pocket, right? Nice rail first uh, shot. Shannon's playing the two railer on the nine here. Well, he's aggressive, uh, which there's nothing the matter with. That's beautiful. Well, he's lucky he got that kiss. Looks like he was going to go straight into the drink. He's lucky he got that kiss. Well, I've always found the angle from which he shot that two-rail bank to be difficult. I have trouble with that. I don't shoot it unless I'm closer to the object ball, where I'm sure I can get a good accurate hit. But I can't fault him for wanting to be aggressive and uh, keep this thing going, uh, the momentum in his favor. There's not a whole lot here that I can see. They should have put the four on his side and just position the cue ball down there, the bottom cushion. Well, That's him. a good job. He's done a good job. He positioned the cue ball very closely to the bottom cushion. What's and the when matter you can, with banking a nine here? Well, when you can do that, that creates big problems if you if your opponent, uh, you know, all he's got to do, on doing all he's got to do is make sure that he goes through the nine a little bit so the cue ball goes into the three ball. He's got a totally free bank here. I don't think it's 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 a, it's a free bank because he can leave a return bank very easily here. Now this is uh, I was laying perfect. You couldn't. Well, if you hit it, for a nicer if shot. you hit it like that, you're a hundred percent right. <laughs> But I'm saying he he could use a nice level cue, right? Uh, and proper English, a nice high ball. The cue ball had to go into the three. Hey, you know a good player, Billy. He's going to get that ball on a bank like that at least within six inches of the pocket, wouldn't you say? I see. I I'd shoot here. Uh, I'd shoot the four ball here. Uh, now he's not going to, but six to three in balls. Watch out. It's f it's five to four in balls. Now it's five to three in balls. Well, he's got a ball here that I don't believe. Uh, hey, yes, it was six to three. Now the score's the score's five to three. Now he's going to try to get an angle to play position. Uh, to fall in straight in on the three ball, but he didn't get the right angle here. He'd have to slug this to get there now, which he's not going to do. Okay, five balls apiece. He can shorten this up, and he can hit it with good pocket speed also. Notice how short that ball came came off the bottom cushion. Reyes finds himself on the hill, needing one ball. Oh, I had the wrong uh, ball count. I thought that Shannon was ahead. That may go inside. Nope. <coughs> well, there isn't anything here. He should just play safe here. He's trying to figure out a way not to leave him a free bank on the five. Now he's getting a little, uh, I don't like this. He's getting a little too fancy here. I don't like this too much. Well, you remember the shot where he hung up the 11? Now Shannon should shoot that rail first on a three. And I wouldn't even care if I went a bit forward with the cue ball here because the 11 hung up in the pocket. What a great shot it would be if he yeah. could... Uh, Shannon sh could bank the three in front of his pocket, like you say, go and real maybe, first. And maybe even make the 11, right? Right. That's the shot. See, look at that. It went forward a little bit. What a nice shot. Uh, he could have hit it a, a bit thicker, but... 
Uh, a lot of good things can happen there. The cue ball can end up exactly over the 11. Well, he's going to three rail the four out of there, reposition the four somewhere in the area where the five and the six are. Well, he's certainly done his job. He's left him nothing offensive at all. Matter of fact, uh, Shannon's going to be hard pressed uh, not to leave Reyes up cross back on that three. I wouldn't he's not say careful. That he left nothing. He could well. Well, if you wanted to three rail the three there, there might be a kiss involved with that shot. True. <clears throat> Reyes says, Reyes, Reyes has an easy job. Just make sure to, uh, no more than two balls are down this end of the table at any time, and just don't leave him a shot. Shannon's job is a little tougher. He has to try to get the balls back down the table that are up there, and at the same time not leave Reyes a shot that he can win the game with. Well, he's not going to try to make this, I don't believe. It's not laying right for that. That's the right shot. That's, right a, that's, that's perfect speed. Can't get in trouble hitting with that speed. A left will kick this out one rail gently, I believe, going to the end rail. He doesn't have to do that, but that looks like the best shot to me. He also can bank the 11 down by the 4 and follow straight up. That's awfully tentative. I always liked it when guys did that to me. The th six ball with three rail from the right angle, so might the 11 ball. Uh, I'm, I might be able to uh, strike the three ball pretty thin. Uh. That way he ties up another ball. Oh, but look will. at this. This is no good. If the 11 goes past the side, he might leave a three railer on it. Now, Shannon can three rail his four ball, but he's got to cut it to his right a little bit, so maybe it's not a good shot. But look at what he did with the 11 ball, Efren. It only goes in Shannon's pocket. That's not a very good shot. Oh, well, myself, I would have tried to reposition the 11 uh, a little closer to the four, eliminating any potential offensive shot. Well, sure. You'd like your opponents like carrying, dead, mute, mm -hmm. unmoving. I specialize in that type of play. I know. Yeah, now look at this. Now, if, if I just uh, don't think Efren made a good shot at all. Shannon could could uh, literally get right back in the game from there. What if that four ball goes? I agree. So the next time Maria shoots at 11, he'll put it on that four. <laughs> Uh, the ramifications might not be fully felt for a while now. Uh, with that going, uh, if Shannon thought he could beat the kiss, the cue ball goes towards the five ball here. Now, he's not going to do that. It looks like he's just going to make the three and float down the table. But I might bank the three here and send the cue ball towards the five. And uh, I'd have the 11, perhaps, if I made it. And if I didn't, I might have the cue ball behind the five, six. I mean, there's some interesting possibilities there. It is two railers on his side, like this. Well, I would have entertained the thought, at least, to do something a little bit differently in that in that uh, situation. I may have tried to pocket the five, dragging the cue ball across the table. I may have even came out the 11. Well, in Shannon's case ball. here, Billy, he's got three balls that are in play for him. Now, that's going to change as Efren tries to move him up table, but I don't think he's got to be in a hurry for that 5-6. They're not in a bad position for him. And he may be able to use those balls a little later to uh, snuggle in behind one of them or, or later make one where it, it you know, goes on the spot and gets something accomplished. Right now it doesn't accomplish anything. For Shannon. Well, he could try to bank the three and double up the four with the three. 
Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a possibility, but that shot, if he hits it bad one way, he scratches. If he hits it bad the other way, he double kisses, and there's nothing to gain. <coughs> well, Even, you know, you're repositioning a ball that won't go in your pocket, and you're, and you're, get, and you're repositioning it to where... You right, look at this shot. Efren likes this shot. It's a good shot, but you've got to make sure the cue ball doesn't go on the other side of the 411, which makes the bank harder to make. Right? See, that hitting it that way is probably not going to make the bank. Well, look at this. Uh, well, it went a little too far. No, he's got a good shot here. He can two rail the three and reposition the cue ball behind the four eleven. Yeah, but he's obviously effing straight in on the four or something. Mm, have Better to would be to three rail his four if he's got the right angle. I I try to two rail the three. I think that he if he can snooker him with that. This is a better shot. Him. He's got to watch the way he's going down there. He uh, might even get a kiss on this shot. No, he wasn't. Oh, he didn't. He didn't three rail the four. <coughs> no, he. Uh, I say I like what he did there. He at least put this ball on his side. Of course, it's going to leave his side of the table. And he's going to be down here, and that five ball is going to be up by the three. Look at Shannon. He's turned into a master bug killer. They gave him an appreciative hand there. Yeah. Orkin, there's a spot for him at Orkin uh, if, he, if he happens to get out of stroke for a while. Well, there's not much here for Efren. do this. This is not right. No, you remember the Chicago style of one pocket? I'll tell you uh, what I do here. I just knocked a three on top of the six. And right. Say, okay, but, but that's it. Just knocked a three on top of the six. If you're Nobody. playing and you need one, there's no reason for you to be making balls at the other end of the table. And this is this is also unnecessary. I mean, he's not doing anything productive. There's nothing wrong with the four and the eleven the way they sit right there for him. This is also unnecessary. Now he's made he's made that that uh, layout even play better for Shannon. He's he should have three real the four here. Well, this is a good shot. That's why that shot was not necessary. He's going to give Shannon a shot here. Yeah, he's liable to get one of those in here before long. Well, this is just two rails up to where the three and five are. Well, he's got to cut this to his left a little bit, to, uh, which means that there could be a kiss on this shot. This doesn't just two rail out of there. Uh, he if he hits it straight ahead, it hits the, the, the point. No, he's going to cut it slightly with, with the draw stroke and just reposition the four up table where the three and five are. I'll tell you what, you hit this a little bad, you got problems. Well, they can't be too big because of the position of the ball. He's not even shooting. He's going to shoot the 11. Now, I don't understand that. Uh, I really don't think that's a good shot at all. Now, the 11 will two rail inside the 5-3. The, the problem is that there's a kiss on it if Shannon isn't careful if he wants to go up the table with the cue ball. Yeah, I kind of like this. I kind of like just getting the four off the rail a little bit, maybe sending the cue ball toward the five. Either that or even pocketing the six now wouldn't be too bad. It really doesn't have any. I might take a chance and two rail this 11. I hope I didn't get a kiss just because of the way the balls are laying. I'm going to get uh, two or three of them. I don't like the double bank here. I don't like that shot at all. No, uh, this Efren's going to shoot the 11 without even hesitating. Yeah. Uh, he, he had no reason to force that. No, he wasn't in any hurry, not in any trouble either. All well, right. Game number two goes to Reyes. He ties up the match one game apiece. Dalton will then rack the balls 
in preparation to breaking the balls in game number three. And I believe it's Shannon's break. He they broke the servers. Lane. Each of them won on the other man's break. Well, that doesn't surprise me. That's not an uncommon occurrence at one pocket. It but was, this it tournament, was the balls have been breaking pretty well. Yeah, it was earlier in the week, and now the balls aren't breaking nearly as well as Let's, they were uh, earlier. Let's take a moment and thank our sponsors, Billy. We've got Diamond Pool Table Manufacturing, and as per usual, the equipment is played splendidly. Simona's Cloth. AccuStats Video Productions, uh, the Bella Baton Rouge Casino. And I'm in such a gregarious mood this afternoon. I even, if they ever by happenstance should see one of these tapes, say good afternoon to all of my ex-wives and good luck to you. The balls broke fairly well that time. Well, I think he can uh, hit the 13 and go over there on the bottom side of the 11. Uh, but that's tentative, and he'd leave uh, a shot on the three ball. He wants to do something aggressive, and that's a different style of play. And well, boy, it, it, if he wants to do something aggressive, the two goes off the three here if he has the, if he has the right, right angle. He, but it, yeah, right. But I think he's got to cut it too much. He could also 12 into the 11 or into the rail in the 11 and four rails around the one ball. That's another possibility. Same shot with the 13. Well, he managed to get it where he couldn't hit the two or the three ball. But, uh, again, Shannon's in no trouble. Now, he can thin the eight here. And, boy, he almost has the kind of angle that uh, he can't put it on the stack, though. See, if he had a little bit different angle, he could go right on top of that two, five, six and uh, have effort in a lot of trouble. But it goes a little long for that. See how that's going a little long? He better be careful because I'm telling you, Efren will play the two off the three on him if he's not careful. And also, Efren has a keyhole to hit the eight here. Believe it or not, between the two, six, fifteen, I believe he can shoot right at the eight ball. Which is a little hard luck on Shannon's part. I know that two off the three lays pretty good if he has the angle to shoot it. Well, actually, I'd be really happy here. That uh, no, no, I think Shannon's going to play the three off the two and, l and eliminate that possibility for uh, for Reyes. And I'll, uh, he'll uh, play the three off the two and create some action, and something good might happen for Shannon on this shot. I thought that he was going to stroke it a little bit harder. Well, he's than that. supposed to be behind the three. His next shot. I, I don't like following this either. It's too easy to scratch or double kiss it. Draw the cue ball behind the three. Eight into the 14. Yeah, and a lot of good things can happen for Ray. Just, like, right just like this, right? Nice shot, nice shot. Actually, he didn't want that ball to fall. No, but Shannon played a little tentatively there, I thought. Uh, he had the, the advantage in the way the balls were, were lying. And now, unless uh, the magician can see something I can't, he's going to have to play a relatively tame safety. Yeah, he should reposition the three on this side of the table. And if he tries to do something else, he's just forcing it. Uh, there's nothing really he can do from this position. You know, he's, he's, he's pocketed a ball, and the one that he didn't want to pocket. Well, I think now, see, I saw that shot, but I didn't really see the, the great benefit of, of playing it. In fact, Shannon may have a shot on the 11 where he can bank it back into the stack, maybe to cue ball up around the area uh, of the one ball. <coughs> now, if this lays like I think, I'd try to hit the 15 with the 11 as I banked it. Now, he's looking to see what kind of shot he's going to have if he puts the cue ball over there by the one. And we stressed uh, one of Shannon's great strengths, too, which is a uh, remarkable ability to elevate his cue with accuracy, and that lends itself to being able to do things play in one pocket that other players can't. And uh, this is one of those shots. Well, yeah, if you don't you elevate, elevate the cue, you can't control the cue ball. If you'll excuse my using the second person.
Well, I'd be really concerned mostly with the cue ball on this shot. Oh, he's looking to uh, shoot the 10 into the 15. I then, don't like that. I see that because uh, uh, this is. he's uh, looking at going into the 8 here, or beyond uh, the 8, like this that. Is, uh, th this is, that was a very difficult shot. Yeah, and I didn't see that there was that much to gain there either. Wow. Well. Now, here's another effort and strength if he decides to do it. He can punch the cue ball and make it go forward as well as anybody in the world, and he could go into the three ball, one or two rails, and uh, underneath, or, you know, move the ten and nine. There's a lot of good things can happen here. This is a kind of a power shot. Or he could do something with the 13, but I don't think he has the right angle on that ball. I think he can just bank the 12 into the 10, nine, and reposition the cue ball behind the three. That seems to be something that... Uh, it's available and uh, safe, and you're being productive with it. Like so. Boom, by the three. I just hit it a little hard. Well, now for Shannon, uh, uh, he can hit the one. If he can hit the 13, now this is, again, here's where elevating the cue is a big advantage. It certainly is, and... Uh, this particular shot has won a lot of games for Shannon. Oh, sure. That's a really good hit. That was a great pull shot. Yeah, Much more difficult than you would think it. He makes it look easy. Now, he does have the same angle, I do believe on the 15 that he had on the 12. I think that if he hits it accurately, he can position the cue ball behind the 13 again and still bank the 15 in toward the 9-12 here. Nope. Well, that, that was just a magnificent shot. Notice how, notice how close he came in con contacting the 13. Well, there. I like effort. I mean, I like Shannon here, though. Shannon is going to try to hit the inside of the 15. And uh, this is a nice shot. This is called an umbrella shot. Two rails, exactly. Contact the object ball and then continue on to achieve some desired result. Just above center of ball, right about the middle diamond, just like that. Well, he's gotten away with it. Well, he wanted to be a little further behind it. That way, the cue ball is farther down the towards Efren's pocket and the 15 is a bit farther away. Now it's starting to wear a little thin out there for Reyes. No, he can't cut the little 15. It. He can knock the 13 out with the cue ball. How? But How? off the 6, but that's very risky. Uh, that's, uh, he has no, uh, no way to do that comfortably. It's very risky. He can hit the 12 into the 13. That's what he's going to do. High side of the 13. Like this. Nice shot. Okay, it was laying pretty good for him to do that. Now, I like Shannon's possibility of doing that. But, you know, uh, I don't know if he's got the right angle here, but if he could hit the 9 into the 15 and put the cue ball behind the 10 where Efren could not hit the 12, he'd have a good shot. Now, see, even if he goes off the six and manages to get to the side rail and twist that 15 out of there three or four inches, he's going to let Efren see the 12. Yes, he is. And that is not going to be good for him. It, it gives Efren too many options, in my opinion. He's got a lot of shots here. He could bank the 12 into the four-ball cluster, right? Uh, he could bank the uh, 12 uh, underneath him. Yeah, but I kind of like just putting the cue ball behind a 13. I don't think you need to bank the 12. You've got a strong position here. All right, I, I'm just saying it, but look at all the options it gives Efren because he was allowed to hit the 12 ball. That's why I didn't like that shot, Shannon shot. My shot, if he executes it, uh, it's exactly the other way around. He's got Efren struggling and looking and wondering. 
Now, Efren's got Shannon in a real tough spot right here. He's going to take a two-rail hickey and try to come no, down behind still, the 15. It's no good, though, but it's no good because he's going to leave him a free bank on the 6 to win the game. Not necessarily. The 8-12 combo is not necessarily out of the picture. He's going to leave him a good bank on the 6 to win this game. And I think Efren's that's how he's going to win this game right now. He's going to bank the 6, and he's going to, if he makes it, he's going to win the game. Oh, we got him underneath the 15. I teach that system, by the way, uh, to calculate yeah, how to take a scratch there. I don't teach how to make the cue ball curl like that. I don't know that system. <laughs> well, kind of an, an interesting little set of circumstances here. What do you do? That was just a great shot. I mean, in a, in a very timely but if time. you picture this, even if he hadn't gotten it, like frozen on the 15, uh, Efren would not have had the greatest shot on the world on the six ball. I'm telling you, he would have, he would have had to elevate the cue. Yeah, well, that's he doesn't do that badly himself. No, I know that, but uh, he's going to, you know, if he makes it, he's he's going to win the game. He's going to hit the left side of the two ball, it would appear, and try to go over maybe by the left-hand side pocket, like this. Well, Shannon's got some shots here now, too. And I'm not sure what the right one is. Uh, I can see lots of interesting shots here. But he has to worry about the 1-6 because they're very bankable for Efren. I see he's looking at where the cue ball is going to hit, wondering can I spin behind the 15, play that, not behind it because it won't stay there. Yes, it's harder than that uh, if he plans to make the ball, but uh, can I make a bigger on the 15? And I don't believe he can. He can't get it long enough. In fact, if I were going to do that, I'd play the two ball before I play is the Is he 12. trying to bank the 8, billioning the 12? No, I don't think that's... the ball then goes no. to the right? I, that's not... That's way too far apart, those two balls. He'd want those, uh, oh, a good couple inches closer together. He would like it, you know, but I think he has something like that in mind here. No, he's just going to... Well, he's, he's not doing much with this shot. He's going to leave him some kind of a bank, it looks like. Oh, he just didn't hit it? Now, Efren can hit the 12, and that probably means that Shannon's going to be behind the 13. I'm not sure. I don't know if he can get him there. A lot of times in a game, though, I'll give up this ball. If I can get the cue ball behind the 13, I'm glad to give the ball up. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I see this 12 ball has been the bane of Shan Shannon's existence. This game is sitting in roughly the same position as it was before, and if he tries to end up behind his 15 and he lets uh, FNC the 12, he's got problems. It looks like he's shooting. All right, that's a good shot. <coughs> good shot. Especially if he can't see the 12. No, but he can. What does he do with it? No, I don't think he can do much with it anyways. Well, again, I might consider giving it to Shannon and getting it off the table and out of my way permanently. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad shot to give it to him. Or if he's, uh, I don't think he's got an angle to kick at this. Oh, he does. Okay. Good shot. Good shot. <laughs> he laid it down pretty good there. He did indeed. And Shannon has to pretty much shoot the one ball here. Don't you agree? He would like to position the cue ball down that end of the table where the one is. That's. And if that's I shoot the one here. I'm going to make sure that I don't go so far down the table that it's easy for Efren to do to play the 11. I'm more worried about the 11 here than I am the 8 or the 2. I don't like this. I don't either, but he's good at elevating the cue. Right angle, yeah, try to go back behind the 15. I don't like it. This, this I don't like. Well, he hit it about as good as you can hit a pool ball, and uh, all of a sudden he changed the complexion of, of things. Look what Efren's looking at. See, if that ball, the four ball, weren't in the way, he'd have a nice two-railer on the seven ball and maybe win the game with it. Cue ball behind the 13, or at least where he can't make the 13. 
And he's going to try again to get him behind the 13. But he, all the teeth is out of this shot here because he doesn't have stuff over by his pocket. No, not necessarily. I mean, he's done a he's done a, a pretty good job in doing what he wanted to do. He's frozen him to the 13, and he's really limited Shannon to what he can do here. He can he can come out out of this with a shot unless he can he's going to shoot the 15 and just drop uh, drop onto the one. Well, off the seven behind the uh, 13 is one possibility. Off the eight behind the 13 is another possibility. He may even just knock the 13 out. Try to put him on well, the three. Well, I like that ball there. Why move it? I mean, he's been behind it uh, five or six times already. Why would you move it? I'd because it's in front of Shannon's pocket. Well, it's not exactly <laughs> hung up in the lips. I know that the way you play that... Uh, that Chicago uh, fierce defense, you don't like a, a ball that's way too close. What's he doing? I don't know if I, I don't, I don't like the kick at the nine here. All right, well, he had a better angle than I thought. Good shot. It certainly was a good shot. He's giving himself a lot of relief after moving that nine away from reference hole. Gives him a lot more ability the next time he comes to the table to do a lot more with the cue ball. Well, there's not much here. We're in, uh, engaged in a safety battle. I can't bank the eight. Not anything on the five ball save a simple safety. What time of day is it, Central Time? They've been playing for one hour. It's five minutes oh. after four. Okay, well, okay, well, they're in pretty good shape. And I instituted the new rule here to make sure we didn't have real slow matches. If after two hours, four games have not been completed, then we institute the 30-second shot clock for both players. But I don't think they're playing slowly. They just uh, have had some safeties. Nicely done. Yeah, and it's a lot stronger position than it looks like here. The first guy to freeze that cue ball on the rail in safety engagements of this nature oftentimes will realize... Uh, Great benefits. Yeah, he's See, he makes it hard for Ephraim to shoot one of those balls up the table, Billy. He's going to do something real simple like this. But that didn't do him any good. Now kick gently behind the nine, stick him there again. Yeah, he'll do the Relentless. same. Relentless. He'll do the same thing. Just, just don't give him any relief. Bury him. Intimidate him. He's looking to kick it with a little speed. Well, I don't like that. Now he lets Ephraim uh, out of it. He can just knock the 13 out of there now. Or maybe not because uh, the maybe three the, ball maybe combination. The three would be dead then if he does that. Yeah, so he can't do that. Well, Efren has no way to uh, push Shannon behind those balls. If he did, he would certainly do it. Oh, no kidding. He'd be frothing at the bit to. Uh, Unless he goes with that. the Mass A shot that he's famous for. But if he does that, uh, I'll buy you a steak dinner tomorrow. If he masses around to get behind his 7 and 13, you got it. I'll buy you a steak dinner. And I'll buy, your, I'll buy you your customary hot dog if he even considers it. <laughs> I thought he was going to elevate that cue. And <laughs> the way he, he approached that there, I really did. I wouldn't have been surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd have loved it if he did that, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, he tried a trick shot. Now Shannon can do him, get him again here. He tried it. He tried to reposition the cue ball behind the 13. Yeah, but the 13 a little bit too thick a hit to go off the 7, I believe. Now it, Shannon can put him in but trouble. A, a thick hit on the 9 wins the game for Shannon here. Now he can put him in trouble. At the right here. speed, like this. Well, he didn't hit it quite hard enough. But anyway... Still, note the subtle change in the complexion of things here. Complexion of things here. 
I think he's got to knock the nine out of there and just uh, put him on top of the 12 without leaving him straight in on the 12 or straight ahead on the 12. I don't know. I would never do that. Well, no, but you're not Efren. I would never do that. He's going forward. I'm not going to leave him on that 12. But anyway, there's no chance of me leaving him on that 12. Tell you what, he's got a nice shot on the five, Billy. Mm -hmm, he sure does. Because the one eight got tied up, and hadn't that, if that had not happened, he wouldn't have this shot. Now he's got to be careful not to run into the four here. What do you like hitting this with? Uh, hitting it with a cinch stroke. A high ball will send him away from the nine like that. Oh, that's a nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, one each in balls, except that Shannon owes one. So. Now he's looking to see if the eight goes. Yeah, well, the eight does go. I mean, it's not even close. There's a lot of room. He's trying to figure out if he can get back for the one. Look at him elevate again. Watch. He missed it. Oh, boy, that's, that's Ooh, something. Oh, look at the 12 ball here. He may have the 12 ball. Doesn't have any way to hit it unless he kicks it to 13. Oh, this is interesting, though. He's got some options here. One of which would be, if he had a nice free bridging of this shot, is to cut the 10 in inside English and play a nice billiard uh, on the proper side of those five balls. I don't believe he's got quite the right angle for that. We'll know in a minute what his shot selection is. Now that's he picked the shot that I liked. I like that shot. And that's why I wasn't crazy about it because it looked to me like it was going to hit him a little too thick. He would have liked to have just a shade thinner cut and he would have, uh, uh, he might, <laughs> I've seen uh, Ronnie Allen make shots like that or Bugs or you or any of the great one pocket players and move four, five, six balls towards their pocket. Just lay in there for, I think this is cuttable. Yep, it looks like it. It sure looks like it. And if it is, it's one of the pretty shots in pool. Uh, now, the modern-day players have gotten to where they like using inside English sometimes. You can control the ball a little better. And also, the 12-3 is dead if he happens to make this. Well, I didn't know he was going to play it off the point there. But it looked like it was going to hit the point. I'm just kidding about that. All right, here's another great opportunity for Shannon. Now, I might consider playing the dead ball here if it is. Now, he should look at that. And what's good about that is that you can never miss it if it's, you know, if it's <laughs> Now, the that's nine is That's missable. right. That's and right. the heat of battle oh, with nine is right. a tough shot. Now, straight pool players and, and guys who dog it like you and I do, we look at things like that. Oh, absolutely. I'm looking for anything that's dead. Boy, he's really playing well. Shannon, well, he's a great player. Great young player. I knew his dad. His dad was a wonderful guy. And uh, he passed away here, I don't know, two, three, four years ago. And I miss him. He uh, loved all the pool players and had much fun around the tournaments and the pro players and so on. Owned a small motel in Somerset, Kentucky. Well, I don't know. I, I'm surprised he didn't, uh, or maybe he already had looked at this. Now he's looking at it, but it's one shot too late. Yeah, it, it, it's it's surprising that he didn't look at it prior to shooting the nine because it was there. Okay, well, Pat Fleming uh, suggests that it wasn't dead. But the thing is that Pat doesn't understand. I see straight pool players, I don't know if they know this or not. See, if that ball is angled into the rail a little bit, it's deader than a doornail rail first. I mean, you can't miss it. It's impossible to miss, right? Billy? Oh, I don't know. Well, if you, well, yes, you do. Don't you go and act like you don't know it's dead, <laughs> hoping that I'll leave it to you sometime. Boy, you're always working. Seriously, uh, I wouldn't lie to you. All right, right. 
Now, what's our ball count here? Let's see. Efren has two. So Shannon has two. Now, obviously, the converse could also <laughs> be true. I expect that the 12 is dead if he makes a ball first hit on the three. Well, but, I, don't, I don't think the 12 is dead, but he's definitely going to kick it. And well, let's watch uh, closely and see if he hits the three first. I'm suggesting that the 12 is dead. No, it is dead. And when you guys get ready to go to Grady's school of dead balls, just let me know. I'll be glad to spend a few minutes with you. Well, Anybody that couldn't see that that was dead in either pocket. It surprised needs, me needs because I had been, why would she just, just leave it there like that? He was trying to make the combination and get out. This is such a critical juncture in the match, too. Whoever wins this game goes ahead two games to one. And Efren is playing for three balls. What is going on here? Well, okay, he's playing okay. for three balls. Well, he's got a down table where he needs to be to get well, the three except balls. For being a little closer, you couldn't place it with your hand and get a better angle. He can play the one six thirteen. Just pull it back a touch here. Or he could even play for the eleven four here. That's one of the cool things about one pocket. He doesn't have to play for the thirteen here if he doesn't want to. Ah, he missed this ball, I think. Okay. Efren has six balls. Shannon, two. No, he needs two. What's Shannon doing? Back in the 13. Yeah, he's going after it now. Nice shot. Oh, that's tough. He got snookered. Well, not a lot of options here. I might consider taking a foul here. You know that... Uh, that Efren's not going to take a foul. How about this little... Well, if he makes this, he'll bring the house down. Oh, he hit it pretty good. And actually, this could have ended up a lot worse. Efren doesn't have to be out here. Now, I might consider banking the 15 here. What do you think? He's looking at cutting the 11 into the 6. Or that, uh, that too. But I like banking the 15 because it looks to me like he can leave the cue ball behind the 11. And and that's just perfect. I mean, it laid just ideally. Well, sure it did. Uh, you know, I need your help, though. I'm getting sick of being right. Why don't you just tell me, <laughs> write down something for me to say and, and where I could just say it and be wrong once in a while. Nice out, nice out. Okay, two to one, Efren Reyes. Well, it's been a, an interesting study in styles. I really do think Shannon might have uh, gotten out that game if he, tell you, if he thinks about that dead ball. Well, I thought Shannon played that game extremely well. Kind of a little unfortunate to, that he didn't win it. And I'm really worried. And all, You know, I have a lot of problems and stuff that I could use help with myself, but I'm worried about you and Pat. If you didn't see that that ball was dead for a straight pool or one pocket, you guys are going to have some serious problems with your matches at some point in the future. I've always had problems with my matches in the past. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm just kidding. I'm having a little fun here because you guys are right so often that on uh, you know, rare occasions that I'm correct, it's a little fun to play with it and stuff. Now, this isn't the best break in the world, Shannon. I'd be happy if I'm Shannon with this break effort turned in there. You like the gentle kick? Not all that gentle. I would want to move it a couple of inches at least. 
Looks like oh, he's, he's going to bank the three. Well, that's a good yeah. shot, too, now that I look at it. But I don't want to hit the nine here with it. Now, the Efren's going to bank the one here, probably. That's if the 9-14 split shot isn't dead. No, I don't believe that's even close. Well, this is a good shot. But he can't play, just play position for the five because the two ball will go for Shannon. Mm -hmm. And he's looking at the 11-6 to see if that goes if the two is gone or if the 11-6-2 is dead. And we've already seen, I don't know, two or three games lost because one of the players or the other did not check for dead balls in the stack. He's looking to uh, follow the cue ball. Two cushions up near the upper right-hand corner here. Well, that wouldn't be a bad shot, except of what's he going to shoot if he makes it. Uh, he can't get it up there, Billy, I don't think, and have a chance to make the bank. See, now he's looking at the split shot. I don't think so. The split shot's not there. No, I agree with you. It's not quite on, and he knows that. Now he can uh, not go very far here. Like this. Oh, know. he's looking to play the 9-14 combination next, maybe. Well, that's more workable than the split shot, but now he'd have to hit that too thin. Uh, well... He can cut the eight a shade to his left and float the cue ball on top of the 11-6. The question is, does that do him any good? And where does the eight go if he does that? It looks to me like it goes roughly uh, into the high side of the three ball, which doesn't do him any good at all. Now he's got another shot here, which isn't... Well, I see a shot that he has. He, he can go four cushions with the cue ball and, and put him behind the three. One, two, three cushions, four cushions, and drop him underneath the three. Yeah, he could have done that. That would have been, you know, a pretty powerful shot. Well, I might consider uh, just knocking the 14 out here. The only question is, do you want to go into the nine? Well, he's going to end up behind a three here, and uh, and he's got three other balls to uh, add more value to the shot, and, and Shannon's going to have a tough way to go defending against a nine ball. Oh, I think Shannon can do a lot. Uh, you know, he could leave him up table off the eight. He's not going anywhere from there. Well, we'll see here. Well, he's going to shoot to 13. Uh, maybe into the two ball. Oh, he could hit. The, I didn't see he could. Uh, I didn't even think he could hit the two ball like that. Oh, what a nice shot that was, too. Shannon could not even have banked the eight from this angle. Now, Shannon's got to have this game if he wants to have a chance to win this match. It's two to one Reyes, and I don't think Shannon's played all that bad. No, I didn't suggest that he had. All right. It looks to me like the, he's got a nice angle here. Oh, it wasn't what I thought it was. He's trying he tried to play shape for the 12. Boy, I tell you what, uh, this is not so easy. He can bank the 12 here, though. Yeah, I tried to hit the outside of the 13. And if he misses the 13 and he's able to bank the 12, he'll probably still have a shot on the on the four. I don't think the 13 ball will go. The 12 is blocking that. Looks like he's trying to play shape for the 13. Well, nope, play shape for the four. Mm. That's a good shot. Now he has to elevate if he, if he opts to shoot the four, but I don't think he's going to do that. 
Well, he'll try it out. He'll test it out by shadow stroking it a bit. But, uh, well, he's out if he makes a four, though. The cue ball yeah. goes into the 14. Let's see if he stays down and follows through nicely on this. No, he didn't. You see him raise up a little bit, right? Well, it was a tough shot to shoot. Well, I wanted yeah, to see that because I'm guilty of that so shoot. often. I wanted to see if he did it. You know, I mean... Uh, I think our ball count is 4-1, to one, and for Shannon, man, what a golden opportunity to uh, knot it up at two each. It was a tough shot to shoot uh, right then. Well, no kidding. And he was awfully quick in, in doing it, too. Yeah, Bill, he sure uh, was. I one mean, or like, two strokes and... Like, he didn't even weigh up his options at right, all there. Uh, and there were definitely some other options. Uh, he may not have ended up with a shot here. Or he may have ended up with a dead shot. Well, he has a nice looking left, I mean, right handed stroke. Uh, I'm really surprised at that. That's very un Dalton like. And he did the same as Efren. He didn't really uh, study the situation well. There was enough loose balls out there for him there. I, I see at least four exactly, more, five exactly. more. Well, three, three, 13, 13 11, 11, 11, 5, and 9, there was five more balls he could have gotten. Uh, and maybe on his route to getting those balls, he could have pro figured, probably figured a way to break open the 410. You know, he didn't have to do it uh, that quickly. Well, he's looking at this. Now, these uh, good one-pocket players can throw. If it just takes a bit of throw, they're pretty easy shots. You have to make sure you put the right English on the cue ball. And you want to use a center ball type pit. Now, as I'm looking at it, he's probably got to throw that four ball to his right a, a bit. That would mean left English on the thin ball, right English on the cue ball. Let's see if he uses right English on the cue ball. And he doesn't want to hit it hard. And the last, the last thing is you got to cut the ball at the right angle. See there? Right English. Just above center ball, and throw it in. Oh, he didn't quite get it there. Well, this is do or die, but that doesn't even phase Efren. I mean, he's going to probably bank this four ball. I don't see any way he can get Shannon safe here comfortably. Well, he can come off the four and put him behind the 13 with the cue ball. Well, he'd have to get it behind there because the 13's dead here. No, he can do it. And I think he's going to bank the four. Why take, I mean, my sentiments about situations like this has never changed. If you have a tough safety and a tough shot, you might as well take the shot. And this is uh, definitely uh, at least a, a better than even money bank. He's gone. Well, you have to. you got to shoot here. He needs four balls. Nice shot, nice shot. But he's, uh, he's going to come too far for the nine. So he'd have to play the ten ball. No, it looks like he has a shot on the nine. Does he? I, okay. Well, optical illusion there. I didn't know that he could see the nine. He walked over to see if he had room for the eleven. Okay, playing for two. Yeah, he's grimacing a bit, maybe, to suggest he's straight in, exactly. Oh, mm, mm, he's not going to like that. Well, I tell you what, he could still lose this game. Yeah, absolutely. He's not going to like that at all. Shannon has a dead one. And, then, you know, all the balls are laying where they'll go for Shannon. <laughs> Every one of them. Every one of them. Well, Billy, you see any uh, salvation for him here? Where do you, where do you go? <laughs> he's, he's in deep trouble here. He's in deep trouble here. I wonder how where that three is aiming. Well, it won't go uh, unless he could hit underneath the 13. He's going to play the 11 off of the 13. Well, I might consider uh, two railing the 15 and trying to hang it up in my pocket. Because he may not get another decent shot. 
Or the five ball, but I think there's the 15 to one I'd rather shoot. <coughs> or you could play, yeah. Look, you could play the combination. Like this. Good shot. Wow. Good shot. All right, three to one, Reyes. I didn't even think he had a, had the angle to play the combination. I knew he had the angle, but it was just simply a tough shot. Well, I don't know what to say there. Uh, uh, Shannon had uh, just a great opportunity to tie this match up at two games each. He really did. And your suggestion about simply availing himself of the loose balls uh, was well advised. He's going to have six if he just gets the loose ones, right? Yeah, there were no, there were enough loose balls for him to be uh, contented with and not even be concerned about the two balls that were tied up because he would have had probably one or two, at least two or more opportunities to loosen up the two balls that were tied up. Now here's what gives Efren a distinct edge over a lot of guys. Uh, shots like this 13 ball, if he has to make it, uh, he can make it better, I think, than anybody in the world. Yes. This is a hard shot. But they uh, can see the edge of the ball so plainly. Yeah, that's the truth. Okay. Now, uh, this is not so easy, though, because uh, uh, he can't dig down into the ball with anything. It goes into the two ball. He's going to have to use inside English here. And he'd like to miss the two ball. Yeah, it's going to be difficult for him to, to, to attain another shot after this. Well, there's a position shot here that's a really good shot, but I think the, I don't know if he can do it. Right English, center ball. Uh, inside the two and then around the table uh, like this. Watch. One, two, and good shot. Very nice. But he's ended up straight in. Anything but straight in either side of the two ball, and he's got action to uh, go a long ways. Well, he has to consider coming down table, backing the 15, and repositioning the cue ball behind the eight. I think that's... Uh, that's his only choice, really, yeah. here. I don't know what he's doing there. He can't hit the 15, I don't think. Well, he's trying to bank the 15 to play shape for the 7. Too, he, he can kick this. That's too. the angle to bank the 15 and then hold the cue ball for the 7. Okay, well. I but uh, he needed a better stroke. Boy, I would have wanted standing behind those balls when I left the table. Yeah. Because anything that falls short of that and Efren could have a, a tough game here. He's going to hit it thick and try to come back into the six or the eight here. Mm. Well, they opened up uh, pretty good there. Yeah. Now he's got some choices here. A gentle kick behind the eight or bank the one and, and the cue ball uh, down behind the eight. Left English on the cue ball. He needs to cut this very slightly to his right like that. Well, that's really a nice shot there. And how subtly that simple shot changes the complexion of this game, too. Shannon can't hit much of anything. Well, I don't see a bank or anything. Now, he doesn't nice want to hit the 14, but I don't see that he's got a lot of choice here. He made a nice shot. Well, Efren can bank the 14 into the 4 or the 15 and the cue ball over to the side rail and down underneath the 8 and things are starting to look. All right, we're going to change tapes. We'll be back with you in just a minute. Well, okay, we're back. Shannon Dalton really uh, has played well in this particular tournament and uh, going into this match, he was really loose. 
he's only made a couple errors in this match and sometimes that's enough and then when you're playing a, a player like Efren Reyes you know one or two errors probably will end up costing you the match he's looking at knocking a seven out of there and back on his side and uh, wondering what he's going to hit or if he can leave the cue ball behind the 10 and does he want to mix the 10 up a little bit. I think it might be a good idea, but he doesn't want to make it dead. Well, I don't know what he had in mind there. But I don't either, but uh, Efren has a completely free shot because the 9, 6, 15 don't go. He's going to look just to be sure. There's nothing dead. He's got a bank here across the corner. <coughs> And I think he can hit this easy enough to get position uh, mm. on the 15. Yeah, he's pretty close to the seven ball, and he'll be able to turn it. No, he played it with the uh, inside English. I don't know if I would have liked that shot. I don't know if I would have played it the same way. Well, actually, for Shannon now, uh, he's got a little action. I only... Uh, he's got to take a little gamble here, Billy. I think he's got to hit the one into the seven. I don't like him just giving up the seven. If I had this shot, I'd take a, a small gamble with it. See, that's what he's looking at, to see uh, the one off the seven. Or the one to the inside of the seven, which is really the shot I like, but with some pace. And let's see what happens. And draw the cue ball back about a diamond. Like this. Good shot, good shot. Can't give him the ball. I guess he's going to get kicked behind it. and. Uh, well, I don't think he can make this. He's just no. hitting it easy. Mm -hmm. And once again, he's probably gotten the maximum. <laughs> Looks like he's frozen the cue ball to the, uh, to the eight. Maybe not. Shannon's looking... To see he's if he can, at, yeah. Yeah, he can draw the Here's that elevation shot we were talking about before. Yeah, but where is the cue ball going to go? I don't think he can get it out of there. If he banks a nine, he uh, to go between the six, fourteen, five, it's really hard. If he does this, it'll be the greatest shot I ever saw in my life. Or the same shot with the six. He can do it with the six better. Like that. Oh, what a hit. <laughs> what a hit. <laughs> What a hit. You I don't think he's got a what shot a hit here. With it. Was that a hit? Oh, did he get robbed there? Oh, Look at how my. these are laying. The 8, 10 are dead. Right? What a hit. Oh, is that hard luck? That Man. was a fantastic shot. What a great hit he made there. Great shot. Oh, one pocket can rear its fickle head and smite you dead sometimes. It doesn't matter what you do. F fairly reminiscent of the... Uh, and what was happening to Richie Richardson when he was playing Shannon the other day. You know, the, Richie just couldn't get anything working for him. No matter what type of a shot he made, he just couldn't get anything going for him. Very much like that. Well, let's analyze this present shot. What do you think? Uh, yeah, that's great. It's, it's, it's dead, but you can't hit it. Well, he wants to double bank the 14. <laughs> he wants to double bank the 14 and try to pocket it in that fashion. Well, I don't know. That's a shame because uh, we all like to see a great shot rewarded with, uh, you know, at least some kind of offensive shot. And he ends up with virtually nothing. And in fact, not only does he have not much of anything, it's not that easy to play safe here. No. <laughs> well, he, he tried to body English it in there. Right? <laughs> he tried. He tried. Actually, that's two awfully, awfully good pool shots. Now, here's another thing about Efren now. Uh, he has the guts and the ability, oftentimes, to come down all the way behind the eight. He was trying. Mm-hmm. <coughs> uh, 
Now he's just going to knock the, the one out of here. Well, I think we'll see Efren take both balls out of here or give him the eight if he can cut it. I think he can get them both out of here. Yeah. Okay, three to one is the count in balls. And the position definitely in favor of Reyes. Yeah, almost all the balls are on his side. Five into the 12 is what he would like here. Uh-oh. Okay, it's going to be all right. But he's got a bank on the four ball here, two rails. I don't think he's going to shoot the four. I think he's going to go up table off of the ten. Well, maybe. And shooting the four, he'll just uh, he'll lose his position. Well, he's got a... Uh, not to make, but he could knock the ten, uh, two rails down the table, mm -hmm. too. <coughs> Well, he doesn't have enough of a enough of a lead in balls to to want to knock them all up table necessarily. No, he, he he's not going to want to knock them up table. He wants to reposition the cue ball up table. He's got away the best of the position here. He might just try to take advantage of it. Now he's going to knock them up table. I don't like that. Does Shannon have a kick? Is that ball frozen? If it's not frozen, he might try to steal the ball real quickly. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't ever shoot shots like this. Maybe I should, but I don't like them. Well, I like them. You steal the ball there. I, what's the matter with that? Now instead of three balls to one ball, it's three balls to two balls. And that was a pretty easy shot, really. Well, I don't like them because I don't have the confidence to uh, to shoot them with the accuracy to steal the ball. Now you put this in the exact right place. He certainly is possessed of acumen regarding things of that nature. Now, this is tough because the four into the 11 is not the the shot I would want or, or the four into the one. Mm. It was almost over. Yeah. Almost over. Well, you're right about that. Well, he's got <coughs> such a good stroke and elevates the cue so well that he was able to draw that back. Now, most guys would have been happy just to get the cue ball to float over to the side rail or stop. But he was able to uh, to draw it. Well, there's not much here. If he felt froggy, he could shoot the 10 and knock the 11 on his side, too. But uh, that's way too long and difficult a shot. Nice shot, nice shot. Okay, now I think we'll see Efren shoot the 10 into the 5. The cue ball down to the side rail and back down on the end rail, I think. Uh, I like hitting the outside of the 5 here rather than the inside. If I can. Just like that. Gives a much better control of the cue ball. Sure. Well, I like to control the object balls there, too. There's no reason to leave my opponent in the free bank in a situation like that. And this is tough here. What do you do if you're Shannon? This is not easy. No. He's looking to do something with the 7, I think. Can he see the 7? Yeah, but it doesn't bank. Uh, and he went to put the cue ball over by the 9. Uh, now he's doing it with the 11. I think this is too early to be offensive. He's looking it's to like bank There's no back, reward for this. Back between the 5 and 1. Yeah, but there's no reward for that. Uh, he's feeling good right now. You know, he's in real good stroke nice right shot, now. Nice to, shot. To, uh, to attempt a shot like that, you have to feel good. All right, that's three balls each, and that's a pretty full shot. And that's a nice move he made there. Well, it's just getting interesting. You know, he's hitting balls really well. Yeah. The only thing that stopped him was his inability to play 
position that one time when he tried to break up yeah, the no, cluster by, let's, let's in the bad role. By, by all rights, Shannon should have won this game. I mean, he really should have. Right. He made the game-winning shot and didn't win the game. But he's still fighting and battling and being creative. Yeah, and it's not it's not easy either playing. No, Efren's this guy. making it very difficult. For he's him. always positioning the cue ball near the cushion, leaving him distance. Shannon has had to elevate several times in this particular game, but uh, nevertheless, he still was able to do what he was asked to do. Oh, I'm glad I'm up here in the booth instead of having to shoot off the rail like these guys are doing. Well, I don't like leaving Efren close to an object ball like this because this is cuttable or bankable uh, if he's inclined in that direction and. Uh, it's just uh, he can do too many things when he's close to a ball. I'd say that's a pretty good shot there. Well, that's what I mean. Uh, it, he's such a great ball striker that when you leave him close to a ball, it practically always uh, spells problems. Now... Uh, he could play position on the four here if he wanted to. Let's see how he does this. I think he'd mainly just try to make it, but I think he's playing position on the four. Oh, he's just going to try to make it. Okay. Nice shot. Now, does the 15 bank? It might. It's hard to tell exactly from <coughs> here. I don't think so. The seven doesn't bank. The 10, I don't know. Uh, uh, it's off angle. Five balls to three, Ray is. The only ball the banks from here is the 12, I think. I don't think the 12 banks the 10s in the way, I think. He can maybe hold this up. Low riding, but he's looking at it. I don't know if it'll go or not. Well, the 10 banks. The 10 banks, but it's off angle. Mm-hmm. Now, he didn't mean to make that ball. Not that that's terrible. But once again, he's uh, positioned the cue ball <laughs> exactly where he wanted. Well, what great speed this, this classic champion possesses, Billy, too. You notice how his last 20 or so safeties, the cue ball hasn't been an inch off the rail. I mean, it's all, <laughs> Shannon's always shooting it, off the rail. He makes it awfully, awfully tough. And well, there's one good thing about that. Shannon doesn't have to use the bridge that often. No, that's true. Well, he's got the four ball bank. Uh, but he can't do that, I don't think. And the point's kind of in the way, anyway. The five ball, two rail bank is a possibility, except he mm. might catch the back of the 15. Yeah, ball. I don't think that's even available. Not a lot here. He's just going to knock the 12 over by the 9. I notice that, you know, he's still got the heat on Shannon, too, because uh, now uh, a lot of stuff will bank for Shannon's pocket. Now, this is, uh, let's see what he does with this, because this is cuttable. He and I talk about that sometimes. He plays the same rule that I do for when you can shoot that and when you can't. And he was well within the guidelines of when it's okay to shoot it. Well, things are looking up for Shannon. That cue ball's a hardy <laughs> four inches off the rail. Well, you're right. See, ha Shannon is hitting him very nicely. Uh, yeah, he's got the Matu Railer here. Yeah, but uh, he didn't have much to, to, to shoot at. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look what he Look does with the cue shot. ball. Look at that shot. <laughs> Look what he's doing with the cue ball. Well, he's got two shots here, neither one of which are very uh, 
and fight him. It's slim and the slower. Kick or the 12 into the 7. <laughs> I like the kick better. Yeah. And I want to go to the end rail on, on the second rail. Just like this. What do you know? Great shot, San and Dalton. <laughs> Excellent shot. And the audience knows a great shot when they see one. And that was beautifully done. Yeah, you can't fault Shannon. I tell you, that one roll, boy, uh, I mean, from two apiece, it's so easy to do battle. Three to one. Now, it, it's tough because you make a little inadvertent uh, or careless mistake, and it, it's downhill. Well, I got to tell you, this has been one great pool match, uh, no matter what occurs eventually. Now this is bankable, but it takes a perfect hit, and he's too long, uh, too far away to do that. That's a good shot. Well, he can't shoot at the 12 because of how the 5-7 are laying. Otherwise, he might take a slight gamble. Well, <coughs> this, is, uh, this is not good. No. No, it's not. He's going to follow this. Well, yeah, he's, he's got no problems whatsoever. And it's even conceivable he could have position on the five. The cue ball hits the 10 first, the 15 second, and falls in for the five like that mm -hmm. if he makes the bank. Well, he could shoot to four. Can he get the cue ball down the table? He can also I shoot to five. I meant to five. Uh, I, don't, oh, yeah. I don't know that he can get right. the cue ball down the table. See, if I have to go to the same rail that I'm hitting the five off of, that makes the pocketing of this much more difficult. Now, that shot's going to shorten up on him with yeah, the high right. ball. Yeah. Well, uh, this isn't good either. This is totally free. If I'm a bit doggish, this is exactly the kind of shot I, I want because it's, just, it's hard to mess it up. All you can do is hit it. Float the cue ball down the table. And they always end up straight in when things are going a little funny here. You know, they could, they can't get where you could just yeah. knock them both out of there. It's it's getting worse. It's not getting. Well, any he's got to take a soft kick here, or, or float off, or something, and down here, and watch more stuff come down here by effort yeah. pocket. I got to tell you now, as as we're enjoying talking about this match, and I hope you viewers are enjoying witnessing it. Buddy Hall earlier this afternoon manhandled Efren. He really did. Yeah, that's what I heard. I wasn't here for the match. Oh, you, you should have seen it. And, but, uh, and there were no good rolls or bad rolls in the match. Buddy just outmoved him, outshot him. It just played perfectly. Which I'm not, uh, that could happen the other way around the next time. Look at this. Uh, oh, took a a little U-turn Well, there. it's a good thing for him. If it had been exactly over the four ball, uh, it would have been much tougher. Now he can at least move to seven. So I like hitting the seven towards the 12-10 because they're no good for my pocket or anybody else's pocket anyway. Like this. Nice shot. Nice shot. I think we're going to see Efren bank the nine ball. Now, now I, I tell you, Billy, I'm not above kick, kicking at this ball. You don't like that. Uh, but it's lying in the big ball position. Yeah, well, the, he doesn't have a natural angle to it. He's going to have to spin the cue ball a little bit. I don't think so. I think he hits just to the left of the nine. I got a nice shot of it on the monitor. Of course, he's not going to take a kick at it, probably. But it's not a bad. Oh, he's going to squeeze, is he? Or is he going to play it two rails or thin it? Oh, man, he's really squeezing. Well, that's not even squeezing. That's not a good shot because no. uh, he only has a two-ball lead. Now, you don't that's mess around the, with the likes of That's not even squeezing. Ball. I don't like that shot at all. I would have rather just rolled on the four or the five, four or the nine than, than do that. You know, I don't understand that. I you know don't what understand he just it did either. there. It's <laughs> almost like he's thought to himself, well, let me see if I can find a way to give this guy a shot. Yeah. I bet he had the advantage. Uh, what possible reason was there to roll that ball out there for a free bank for Shannon? For Shannon. But why would he even want to move it? Well, exactly. Uh, and all of a sudden, are we sensing <coughs> a subtle shift in the momentum of this particular game? You know, he, he, it would have been ideal for him to put the cue ball adjacent to the five at the other end of the well, table. he could have done anything he wanted. He's in no trouble. He doesn't do that when I play. Now look at him. Now what's happening with him? He doesn't do that when I play. He, uh... 
Boy, it's almost like he took a goofy pill. He's like lost his concentration. All right, five to four, and Shannon's got a great shot on the ten ball. Low, left hand English. I like to twist or turn this in the pocket. Just like that. Nicely struck. Beautiful shot. Okay, five, five, and Shannon has a shot here. I don't think you risk getting behind those balls. You just play for the bank here, but well, yeah, I agree, but depending on how he feels, you know. Well, he feels great, Billy, but that's a hard shot. Mm, uh, I agree. I might even play, uh, according to how thick a hit this is, for the two-railer on the four or nine, knowing that I'm not going to sell out and i got a great chance to hang the ball up in the pocket if I don't make it. Of course, on the other hand, if he... Runs out here, it'd be uh, wonderful. What a beautiful shot. What a beautiful shot. <laughs> now, did he get an angle where the cue ball can go into the nine? And if so, does it hit the nine so thickly that if he doesn't make the seven, he knocks a nine on the front side of the table? He's going to avoid contacting the nine. He's going to end up with a bank cross okay, corner. Okay, well that's what... Uh, Oh, you know, I don't like that at all. Look what he's doing here. All right, six balls to five, Shannon. But this is the Efren Reyes uh, fortress here. This is this is really one of his great strengths, turning this in with inside English. Uh, do you even try to do that? No, apparently he's not going to. He's just going to try to make it. Okay, six balls each, and isn't this interesting? You got to be kidding! He's not going to bank this. Well, it wouldn't be out of the question. He's going to he's going to park the cue ball on that cushion, put that ball in front of his pocket. I don't think it's a bad shot at all. If uh, Shannon uh, opts to uh, clear the pocket for, with the 15, he, he may have to leave the seven ball bank. Well, I think that, that would be a glaring sign of disrespect. There. No, I don't think it's disrespect at all. As a matter of fact, uh, I think it would be a good shot. Okay. Well, maybe you're right. All right, six balls each. Getting more interesting by the moment. Crossing the seven, I, th I believe, on his side. I he's don't like what he did there. No, he's left uh, on a shot here. See, he can two-rail this and pull the cue ball back about where it is now, right? He, he left him a shot. I don't know the, the angle that he has, but I know he has a shot. He's got a great shot here. Right, if he can follow it, it's even better because he's going to have he's made the, he's a natural made it position. Okay. Well, he's got a shot here. He can cut or two rail it, but he'll cut this, I think. Yeah, I don't think he can make it two railing it. Uh, he'll load it up with inside English, if I'm not mistaken, being careful not to scratch cross corner. It's 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 a pretty risky shot to, to go for. Well, the two railer's free. At least he doesn't. He can't yeah. scratch. Yeah, that's free. But uh, I don't. I don't even know if he can make that. He's looking to win the game here. He, he may be trying to be reach. He, I think he's uh, reaching a little, a little too far trying to cut this in. Well, uh, you know, I think he's going to go ahead and play the two rail and just play. Uh, all he's doing is going to just play the ball position. All right. Uh, if you're Shannon, there's a three rail of the shot. I think he's a little too straight to play the three rail. I'd like a little more angle because the cue ball won't go down the table here. Yeah, he's not going to get much movement off the cue ball, and then if you don't make the three reeler, he's going to start out of return bank. All right, he's got a nice two reeler here. Free shot. All you have to do is not scratch. I don't use any English here. Just, just shoot at it. Two rails. Oh, he's not going to shoot. Well, I'm surprised at that. Shannon, Shannon, uh, that's a tough bank here, but I think he's going to try to bank the seven. Well, he could kick this, too, but the bank's the right shot. Low right English. He'll have good ball speed on this, because seven won't move quickly. And he may have left the return bank here. He wants it to freeze. It's going to be... Well, there's a kiss on this bank. No, I don't think so. I think he's going to miss the kiss easily, matter of fact, in this bank. Oh, well, you're right. At a better angle than I thought. Now what do you do? Do you two rail it? Two He's got to. He needs them both. Yeah, I know. Uh, Good pocket speed is essential. Well, what you hope is that it ends up where Efren's got to give it to you. 
Well, he left it, left it crossable. Now he's in big trouble. Yeah, because now he's going to have to deal with two balls near Efren's pocket. He well, that's if Efren doesn't make it. He's got a great chance to make it. This match is not quite over, but... Mm -hmm. Well... He can shoot the four underneath the seven. He might have enough angle to do that. I think that's his only uh, option. I don't think he can hit. Now, he's looking, but... Uh, uh, you're going to get a double kiss there. Yeah, and, uh, this is no good. This is going to be—he's going to get a double kiss if he if he goes to the inside. I think you got to go to the uh, underneath the seven with the four and just hope that you can clear both balls. Well, this isn't uh, exactly the kind of shot I. Yeah, he's relish. shooting the right shot here. Yeah, it gives him a chance. Yeah. Oh, what good. a great shot! What a great yep, shot. It. What a great shot. Well, an appreciative audience enjoys that, don't they? Man, oh man, oh man. And notice the speed, ladies and gentlemen, with which he struck that shot. He didn't blast it. He stayed down on it, followed through. And, uh, man, that's just gorgeous. Yeah. And Efren's got to come off the right side of the four ball softly. Try to re reposition both balls on the end cushion. Well, he went off the other side of it. Yeah, well, either side. I would prefer to go off. You know. Now, meanwhile, he's left a shot here. I shoot this, and I'm going to use inside English to cue ball one rail into the four. That's why I like coming I mean, off the seven. I mean, I, I like coming off the other side of the four ball. Oh, I agree with you uh, wholeheartedly. Doesn't leave a shot. He's got a chance to run out here. Just like that. Right. Uh, if I'm effort, I double bank the seven right now. I two roll the seven, even well, though going to. even though I only need one ball. And I know, and I know everyone has often heard people say, whenever you need one ball, make sure you don't bring both but balls down different. table. But I think that this is a strong shot. It gives him a big edge because just because you need one ball, your opponent needs two. It don't make you a big favorite in this spot. This makes you a big favorite right here if you hit it well. Well, if that stops where Shannon has a cross bank, uh, well, it didn't though. Yeah, well, he's got a cross bank. Still. No, he doesn't. You can't cross this with outside or inside. He's too far over? Yeah, the cue ball needs to be a foot back towards the middle of the table. You can't do this here. You have to... Oh, man, this is... I don't believe he can beat the kiss. If he gets a kiss, I don't think it'll hurt him. Oh, that's how close he came? Now, he couldn't make it and uh, beat the kiss, but... I tell you what, that's a nice shot. Now, Efren might have to play the three-railer. Yeah, he's got a three-railer, or else he's got a, a six-rail kick behind the seven that's in the uh, shots, moves, and strategies book. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the three-railer is there. He hit it very nicely. He hit nicely. it pretty good, <laughs> You know, I love the ebb and flow of this game. Now, all of a sudden, well, it didn't get any better. This is worse than the other one. He's got to cross this to the inside, and, and this is, we've, we've had this a few times this tournament. The only way this is possible. I think he possible. can beat this kick with, the, I think he can beat this kiss with inside English. Inside, right, but he's got to overcut it, hit it easy, and load it up with English. Can't draw it or anything cute like he's that. He's got to go inside here. One of the prettiest shots in all the pool if he executes it. Oh, the look how close he came to the kiss. Nicely struck ball. Hey, is that a great shot or what? Man, he, I tell you what, he came within a thousandth of an inch of hitting <laughs> that ball. Yeah. These, I love this. Now, Efren's got it, but it takes a lot of guts to do this. He's got to knock the four into the seven if he's still got... Yep. Uh, he can He can actually uh, knock both balls out if he hits the side of the seven here. Yeah, the problem is, though, that uh, the cue ball uh, is going to go to his left. And, and not, I, don't, I think he'll leave a bank of some kind if he does this, right? Mm -hmm. See, I had a cue ball going to his left mm -hmm. now. Uh, now, he's pretty fortunate that the four blocks the seven. No, I don't think it does. I think he can make this bank. I think he can make it. I think he can uh, cut it more, and then and then with the uh, the friction on the cut, it'll, it'll, it'll straighten it out. It'll, t it'll turn it the other way. He's going after the, he should go after the, I th he can make this bank. Well, he's got to be, uh, I'd be awfully careful here. He can't hit it hard because uh, the four is in the way of at least part of the pocket. Well, that's as well struck a pool ball as I ever saw in my yeah. life. He's what a great shot. He saw it just like you did. 
Well, does he have an angle to lag this in? If not, he's going to have to frap pay it, which everybody will love anyway. And what do you think his style is anyways? Well, that, he doesn't like rolling balls. No, uh, he doesn't, does he? No. <laughs> Jeez, what a great game and match. <laughs> all right, here we go. This is what it's all about. Now he's gonna, <laughs> I don't blame him. I get up and study it a little bit, too. Nothing wrong with a little posturing, either, after that great bank he made. Great bank. He made a lot of great shots in this particular uh, game. Yeah, he sure did. Particularly near the end of the game when he was dealing with that two-ball situation. Looks like he's going to roll it. Split the wicket. <laughs> oh, what a shot. What a shot. What an out. Well, Billy. He's playing uh, well. I, I, I knew he was playing well just by the way he was hitting the balls in his shot selection. His shot selection told me that he was feeling very comfortable out there. And the score actually was no indication of how close this match was at the time, the 3-1. to one. We'll, we'll be back in just a moment. Efren made a ball on the break. We missed that. Uh, he's leading three to two, and he does have a shot on the sixth ball. The th oh, boy. What a shame after that great. Uh, now, Efren doesn't have to be out, but uh, the eight goes here. The 11 may also go. If the 11 goes, it's probably all over because he can yeah. draw back off the exactly. uh, seven, nine, and uh, mix them up a little bit. The 13 four combination, I don't believe, is quite on. But he's got two balls. And now, you know, that's a big break for Efren there because uh, as well as he's playing, he might be a little doggish uh, after that great game that Shannon just turned in, you know? Absolutely. And to be offered the opportunity of making one on the break with a nice, easy shot, well, I'll tell you what, uh, he's not going anywhere here. Or he may, but, I mean, at least it's a lot tougher. You know, well, he may go somewhere, but it's not going to be easy. But, of course, there's no guarantee well, this is rough. Here's three balls to nothing. Shannon not yet offered the opportunity to approach the table this game. And he's got to shoot to one here, uh, I believe. Play oh, position sure. on the four. There's, there's no other shot available. Shoot to one. Pockets to one. Depending on where the cue ball ends up, we'll determine what he'll do next. But the one ball, he'll probably try to cut it thinly making sure that he clears the uh, upper part of the rack. Well, I'm going to go all out to make this ball is what I'm going to do. Oh, man, he, he didn't make it. And Shannon's going to bank the four ball, and we might have a 3-3 three, three game here in a minute. Now, uh, I think he's got to be a little tentative here because there's no sense in just going nutty and selling out the one if he doesn't make the bank. Right? That's the way to do it. Nice shot, <laughs> nice shot. That's really the way to do it. That's well, he really made sure that he stayed it. inside that ball, and uh, it didn't matter if he didn't have position or whether he made the bank. He couldn't sell out the one. That was a critical thing there. He's really in trouble right now. Well, no kidding, except that the balls aren't lying good for Shannon. The 4 and 14 are the only ones that will go in his pocket. There's nothing dead. And I think this is going to make it worse. Well, sure, it's going to make it worse. I like hitting the high side of the five here and just pulling the cue ball uh, right back over on the side rail. Miss the eight here and hit the five. That's the shot I like. Okay, that's okay, too. Well, Efren's plight isn't easing, easing up any. You got to watch. He might have a shot to make the one ball here, though. A split shot. Look at it on the monitor. No, I don't think so. Oh, that's laying pretty good. Nah, that's not even close, I don't think. Okay. I'm not saying he'll shoot that, but that's a distinct possibility. And plus, why would he want to open up the balls? There's no real Well, he's in a lot of trouble. Why wouldn't yeah, he well, want to open the balls? Because there's no real need to open up the balls right now. I mean, this is not a very really urgent situation to Well, do he that. needs to deal with that eight and four by shutting his pocket. There's but only two open balls here now, you know. Let's this, this, keep well, in that's, mind. that's true. Well, 
Well, I don't think I've ever watched better one pocket. I mean, that last game was uh, thrilling. Just any way you, you look at it. Uh, if he can hit the 14 <coughs> thickly enough and he can hit it into the four ball, I, I sure might consider something along that line. Don't know if he can hit it that thickly. Now, what did I tell you? Yep. Now, when Grady right. tells you a split shot's there, don't argue with him in the future. You're right. I apologize, Mr. Matthews. Okay. See, I knew he had to elevate the cue because they were like a half inch farther apart than, than his optimum. That's why he elevated the cue because instead of a center ball, which is the best English, he hit it just below center, and that's some kind of pull shot. And notice also the speed with which Efren hit it. And he's got a chance to maybe leave Shannon safe in the stack, which he did. Oh, we're still, uh, this is still a match. This is a, this is a really an incredible match, considering the, you know, the, 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 the shots that both of these players have. have now, remember with. my guidelines for those split shots, Billy. They need to be aimed roughly towards the pocket, which they were, and a little more than the cue balls with, which they were. Only requirements. Five balls to nothing. Or if he catches the bottom side of that. Yeah, that could have been costly. Well, uh, I think you just knocked it. Uh, I, I don't know here. See, I'm such a coward. If I shoot the three, I'm going to follow the cue ball. I wouldn't even consider elevating the cue here. But with Shannon's stroke, if he could elevate it, he got a chance to make the three or the eight, and he could pull the cue ball over by that chalk. Uh, that would be a great pull <laughs> shot. you got to be careful not to run into the point on the end rail. Wow, he hit it good, didn't he? Well, that's the shot I'm talking about right there. Uh, now, see, that's a big advantage for him to be able to do that. There's not <laughs> many players can do that. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. He put him right back in trouble. And he did it so nicely, so smoothly. No blasting or anything of that nature. He may have left him the angle on the eight ball bank to force the cue ball behind the three now, and pocket uh, the bank. I don't know if this will have any relevance in the moment or not, but the five or the thirteen ball might be dead too. I don't know. For Shannon's pocket. So let's see what Oh he moved it, he mixed it up a little bit. Well, he has the nine ball bank if he chooses to shoot it. Well, I don't know. It's not bad if you could control. He would that rather have had the ten ball bank without the nine there, and the nine got in the way because that would have been totally free and a win if he makes it and so on. And he's going to cross the four here, and I like this shot. If he can freeze Efren on the in rail like this and get him right down there on the rail, uh, cut off that bank, uh, cut off the kick to the three. Exactly, exactly. Well, I tell you what, uh, this match has everything in it. He's going to thin the two ball and try to come down behind the three, hitting it easy uh, so that he doesn't come above the ball like this. That's a good shot. Does he, now he still has the bank. I do believe he has the bank on the nine. It looks like it's, it's marginal. And he's got the two railer too, but he's got to control the cue ball if he does that. That's about as bad as he struck a ball in the last hour. And, uh, you know, he left Efren a, a shot to... Uh, well, Efren's going to uh, shoot the three out Exactly, of and he'd like to go two rails into the ten ball. He's going to use a high ball, maybe a touch of left English. And he wants to kill the cue ball. Now, he doesn't have to do that. Now, he's looking at other possibilities. Now, he could play the nine off the seven touch of inside and play a nice one rail bigger into the three. That three's a big I would never billiard. do that. You, that. Well, I wouldn't either, but we're not Efren. But, you know, the, you can leave a return bank so easy. Well, but he doesn't think like that. He thinks offensive. Uh, well, this isn't going to be good. Now, that's, <laughs> that's probably going to cost him the game. You can leave a return bank so easy and that's exactly what he's done. I mean, well, I wouldn't have shot it like that. If I shoot it like that, I'm going to put a little speed on it. Now, you know the three balls in the big ball for Shannon. And that's where uh, one of the reasons why I would do it. And uh, moved it. Shannon is way too good a player to uh, miss many of these. 
Well, I, for one, could not be more surprised. I mean, uh, he was in the catbird seat, and now, uh, boy, he's got his hands full with uh, uh, young champion Shannon Dalton. Another reason why I wouldn't have shot that, See, because the, another reason why I wouldn't have shot that shot, because he's leading, leading five to nothing. Well, right, right. Come on. But he That's doesn't. I mentioned a couple shot. of times during the, the earlier telecast, he doesn't play the stereotypical protect the lead kind of game of one pocket. He'll let a, a guy back in the game a lot of times, whereas you wouldn't. Now, you play the lead about as well as anybody I ever saw, you and Jack Cloney. All right. I kind of like the 10 ball here. If he has the angle to go back and forth across the table without risking scratching, he's got sideboards. Uh, a lot of good things can happen here. Nicely done, mm -hmm. right? That's beautiful. Sure is. Now the nine coming out for the two or 13. The combination, maybe. Uh, no, he doesn't pocket. need to shoot a combination Opens here. Opens up just, the pocket here. Just, uh, this is fine like this. Uh, I like the combination there. The balls are lying really nicely there. He, right, he needs good. five balls. Well, everything goes in Shannon's pocket once he moves his 13. If he gets on the other side of these balls, <laughs> we're looking at the hill hill he match. Get, yeah, if he can get on the other side of 14, 15, and 7. Can he draw straight back between the 7, 8? I don't know. Uh, He's going to try it now. Let's see. Oh, yeah, no trouble, no trouble. He needs four. The 14 might be the, the 14 is uh, the right shot because he doesn't have to run into anything. There's no uh, make the 14. He's going to shoot the eight ball. OK, that's good. Okay. Playing for three. And Shannon Dalton now becomes, if you will, the favorite in this. Match. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Breaking in case game. Plus, uh, very unraised is like he hit that last shot of his. Uh, well, it was a poor shot. It was tentatively yeah. struck and uh, he was unsure of himself. I mean, you can't just open the door up for your opponent like that. I mean, that's a shot that, you, that, that you're supposed to shoot when you're losing five to nothing, not when you're ahead five Now he nothing. should shoot to 14, or he can draw back off of this. You'll be careful not to draw it in the side or anything cute like that. You wouldn't believe how many times I've seen that kind of thing. Now, <laughs> look at this. Now, uh, he's not out yet. Well, he was careful to, not to draw it in the side. <laughs> yeah, well, no kidding. <laughs> See, I like the 14 there because... Uh, you know, even if you don't make it, it's going to be hung up. You, you don't leave a thing. Now, he doesn't have a bank or a cut on anything. He's going to have to play safe, and he's not out. Yeah. I shoot the 14, two cushions, two cushions in, in the direction of the 15, and reposition the cue ball down table. I don't think I want to put the cue ball down table here. I think, I, I think what you do with this is bank the 15 to the right side of the four and put the cue ball over about the first diamond. Or this is okay, too. That's a good shot, too. That he might be even a better shot because he hides the 14. Yeah, that was a good shot. But putting the cue ball up the table, you leave effort and options. Uh, cuts, banks, kisses, billiards. I mean, who knows what it's going to end up at. Now he wants to shoot, uh, but the circumstances are now decidedly different. They sure are. And he's going to shoot. Well, you know he's got to shoot. Look, he's playing four. He played four, uh, actually three cushions around the 14 and four for position if had he made it. Well, meanwhile, if I'm Shannon, I'm banking the four here. I'm not trying to get cute and turn this 14 ball in. And I leave the cue ball right on top of the 14. Might as well snooker effort if I don't make it right like that. Nice shot, nice shot. Three each, Billy. Uh, yes, this is. is what it's all about. I'm concerned for Pat Fleming, though, because this won't be a good selling tape here, you know. I'm just having fun with you, Pat. I said this won't be a good selling tape. I'm being facetious. I guess Julian was right, our uh, expert cameraman, when he says one on the wire to Shannon is a safe bet, isn't it? I says, I don't know. Well, it says uh, it's uh, pretty close. Well, Julian's pretty <laughs> close with a dollar. Now, if he, if he makes close. a wager. Uh, <laughs> I guess he knows what he's doing. Geez, what a great match. I'm not kidding. Uh,
I want to thank the Diamond Billiard folks again. They've been over backwards to help all of us at the professional level. I want to thank all the One Pocket Aficionados. Well, no mystery to this. You've got to kick at the eight, in my view, unless the four is dead off the six, which uh, it could be because it looks like it throws into the six a little bit if he hits the 15 first, and uh, he should take a, a look at it at least. He's in trouble. The eight is, is fairly close to Shannon's pocket, and it's quite a distance from that side cushion. Well, Even if he kicks to the eight, no guarantee he's not going to scratch it. Right, that. that's true. Yeah, you're right. Well, I don't... What options do you see? Now, if you're playing a bad player, uh, you, if somebody doesn't move correctly, you can take a scratch and on the stack maybe and hope they do something ignorant. Uh, I'll tell you what he might do. He might... Uh, I mean, might play the billiard off the nine, trying to position the cue ball behind the eight. I well, I'd hit it hard enough to move the eight yeah, some if I, I, I did that. I think that his chances of doing that are just as good as kicking at it. He's taking the scratch. I don't like this. The nine into the eight is the shot I like here, and you just make sure that you leave the cue ball on top of that stack there. You don't hit it hard enough to mix anything up, but I'd check that four ball. Efren didn't even look at it. But I'll tell you what, Efren Ray has hit that ball with absolutely perfect speed. He couldn't have placed it with his hand any better. I see Shannon can take a scratch too. Uh, but it, it's not laying good for him. See, he'd like to put it maybe right on top of the 515 on the side of that stack. There's no way to get it there from there. He's thinking about putting it in the stack. Yeah, but you got to be careful. Uh, He's spinning it. He's spinning it in the stack. That's what, see, I said 515. That's just what he wanted. Nice shot. Now uh, Reyes doesn't even have the billiard off the nine behind the eight. He's going to no. have to. And how many times have we talked about that kind of thing? Uh, a lot of times you got to take your little gamble, or your big gamble, as it were, when you have it, because that may not always be available with a great mover. And see, even if he wanted to take a kick at the eight here, now he, it's over a ball, and yeah. now he can uh, uh, go two rails easily into the eight here, like this. But now he's on two fouls. Now, if I'm Shannon, I don't look at going off of anything. I put him right back on the side of the stack. You agree? Yeah, because after after he puts him right back in the stack, well, Shannon's looking to go off for the eight here to do it. Uh, no, you don't. And I, and I agree with you, Grady. I, see, I would have definitely it, uh, uh, shot your shot, Grady, oh, because it was Shannon. well worth the ball. Shannon, what are you doing? Because now you got him on two scratch in the two scratches in the stack. Oh, you, and What's you got him do? buried. You got him buried. Man, oh, man. Now, he saved one ball, but he lets him out of the trap. He may have lost the game saving well, that sure. ball. Sure. Oh, I couldn't be more surprised. He definitely put too much importance on saving the ball in yeah. that instant. instance. Uh, putting him back in the stack was a place that he showed you. He didn't like the last two times he was there. So, therefore, put him right back there. because well, he Nobody would like that. He can't take another intentional. And I thought that was a big mistake. And it... Uh, has shown up to really let him out of the trap there. Really let him out of the trap. He had Reyes, and I believe, I disbelieve he's uh, allowed him to get away. Well, he certainly made his uh, situation easier. He just let him out of the trap, period. I... I don't like that. When I want that eight ball to be gone uh, when I leave the table there if I'm Efren. Well, he's going to come off the side of the one, uh, reposition the cue ball. And now he's looking at the, the six. Side. It's the first time either player has looked at this, and I suggested it might uh, have an excellent chance of going. No, the, the bank is not the right shot. No. No. Uh, you know, come now he lets see. him out again. Well, here, uh, I just knocked the eight up around the two ball, the two and nine, and put the cue ball on the end rail. Uh, it makes it tough for Shannon to bank the three ball. 
Or you can hit a little harder than that, uh, low uh, right English, and, and as you knock the eight out of there, the cue ball goes to the side rail and back on the in rail. But if you leave that inverted angle on the three ball, the Shannon can't bank it. That bank that Shannon shot to, I don't think I've ever shot it that, uh, that I didn't kiss it. It's a nice little nifty little shot there. Yeah, it is. It really is. back underneath the three here, but I'm not sure I wouldn't shoot the three ball here, especially being left-handed like Shannon is. He's looking to bank the eight here. And he can't control the cue ball and he can't he's hit it hard enough. He's going around. I didn't think he could hit it hard enough. That's a heck of a good hit, though. He could have hit it harder than that. He was a little tentative when he was shooting the shot because of the position of the three. And I think what he did is he divided his concentration between the bank and the, and maybe running into the three, and he let up on his stroke a little bit, and he wasn't able to hit it hard enough. But he's, but what he is doing is keeping the pressure on Reyes. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, he, but he let him out of the trap. There. Man, he wins the game probably going away if he takes a foul on the side of the stack. Yeah, but, but Efren's on two. Can he even kick two rails towards the eight on two fouls? I don't think so. We were we were we were both in agreement with what he did was wrong. So, uh, but but you know he's a resilient player. He can overcome that with his offensive ability, and that's what he's doing right now. He's applying more pressure to Reyes. That's what that's uh, that's how he got Reyes in the in the in the trap to begin with, and I think that uh, he's going to probably end up doing it again. He's a really a, a great offensive player, <clears throat> and he's playing this game well. Yeah. Well, the two ball, if he can hit all of it, there's some interesting things that are possible with it, uh, but they're not all risk-free. The two into the eight, any kind of way, uh, you risk having the two ball come back into the cue ball. If he has room to bank the two behind the eight and catch it on the way out and draw the cue ball into the stack, but uh, maybe that that shot would that work. That might well. work, and he want to do it thickly if that were the case. But uh. because drawing that cue ball into the stack, it's really big here. Well, he got fairly creative there. He certainly changed it around quite a bit. That's a good shot. <laughs> But Shannon has a free shot on the nine. Now, see, here's the difference. A lot of guys would bank the eight into the stack or something here. Shannon banks so well. Uh, I think the nine's the right shot for him here. For him, it is because he draws the ball so nicely. And, and you just go over on the high side of the eight here, right? Yeah, and he banks well. Yeah. And this he's, is not, a nice he's shot not afraid to stroke it. I didn't hit that good, though. But no, he's going to leave didn't. the cue ball on top no, of the eight. I thought, that no. he, I thought that he was going to do much better with that particular shot, considering that was you know, one of his better shots. And he let up on his stroke. He turned the ball. A matter of fact, I, I thought that too, just with no English, that, 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 banked, that ball banked a little bit better. Well, Efren's just going to have to play safe here. I, he doesn't have much. No, he's gotten the maximum from that shot. Sure. Sure, he sure did. He put the three pretty much out of play, the nine and 12, uh, 12 on his side of the table. This is going to be an up table game, so we can. Well, they won't play a wedge game, no. No. But this will definitely be an up table game, which will take another 30 minutes or so. Well, he needs to find some kind of safe to play here. And uh, he'll be careful here because the seven banks for Shannon. He's so going to try to eliminate the two ball here. Well, now, if he leaves the seven, now, Shannon's already shown us that he's, uh, well, he's not looking at it, that he'll shoot uh, a shot like that and come two or three rails around the other side of the stack.
Well, I think he's just got to thin the 14 and uh, softly. Yeah. Can't allow him to see this. I don't like. Oh, he's going back in this tack, and he hit the 14 so thinly. He was yeah, able to do shot. that. This is a bad shot. This is a bad shot. If Shannon Banks is seven, there's some interesting things can happen here. All he's got to do is be sure he doesn't hit the two ball. Well, in order to get the correct speed off of the cue ball, I think he's going to have to hit the seven ball a little bit thinner. Oh. See, he, he couldn't get the right speed because of uh, the angle that he had on the seven. Well, the way this match is going, though, I, I don't want to give Shannon Dalton anything to bank. I, I don't want him to be able to make a ball. And uh, now Shannon's going to put up to one of the O's, and he's got a two-ball <coughs> lead because Efren O's two. So Shannon needs eight and Efren ten. And also, see, I like the way the cluster is, the way they're, you know, lined up for uh, Shannon. Now, Efren's going to change that. Going to have to play safe here. See that elevating? Look at that. Look at that. Well, I don't know if he froze the cue. Well, did he if he didn't, it? it's so close that uh, <laughs> I can't put into words how much that's worth. You know how many times I end up in frustration? I don't know if you do. I'll elevate the cue, but mine will end up a foot off the rail. And, <clears> you know, for great players, they figure out something to do that uh, causes me problems. Well, the multicolored balls provide a nice backdrop against the, the, the audience as we all watch this great match, wondering what they're going to do next. Okay, there's no bank for Shannon here. Now, if he didn't have uh, the 9-13 there, the four off the two balls, a nice shot, two rails for Efren's pocket. But Good shot, good shot. <coughs> Notice how nicely Shannon used the principle of... Uh, uh, making bigger off of two balls to not have to draw the ball. Gonna make the 13, is that what he's doing here? Go to the side rail here and down just like that. <clears throat> I think he's better off just shooting at 13 to those three balls up there, the one, four, and nine. Yeah. Uh, you know, leaving, uh, leaving Shannon down here. I agree with you. There's nothing up there. There's, there's no reason to try to force something here. You know, you know you have the advantage by opening up the balls on your side and leaving the cue ball on the end rail. I don't like this. No, because there's no advantage there. Ooh, mm -hmm. that'd be so easy to In scratch. In the meantime, you know, he's going to be on the bottom cushion after Shannon shoots, and he's going to have to try to do something. Now, Shannon being very patient here. Yeah, it wasn't that hard to figure that out. No, well, that's very simple. <laughs> Just get up there and you shoot it. I'm talking about uh, what Ray has figured to get. You know, I saw that and I said, well, uh, I'm 
Now Shannon will probably just two rail the through ball out of there. Or bank to five. Now he's got a shot to bank to five. And he removes the five from Ephraim's side of the table. Nice. Oh, oh. Well, he hit that ball pretty well. Now, though, uh, all of a sudden it could get interesting. Uh, if he has room to roll down there and touch the 14, he could have Shannon in trouble here. Yeah, that's the, that's the position I was looking at also. Uh, he could hide the two and the five ball, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> He's looking at cutting this in, is he? I can't see the exact angle. It looks mighty thin to my way of thinking. This is going to be a beautiful cut shot. Oh, my goodness. Now look at oh this. This, you, this is as bad a roll oh as you'll goodness. ever see in pool. Oh. Oh, is that a bad roll? He owes three. Well, if the eight ball goes here, uh, he'll just come down to get on the five ball. Okay, Shannon has one ball. Efren owes three. Now he'll come up to try to get on the 13 ball here. Knowing that if he doesn't get perfect on it, there's some other possibilities. Might as well take a stab at this 13 ball. Low left English. Okay, he's all right. All right, two balls has Shannon. And Efren owes three, and he's not going to forget to put the coin up there. Well, you can't fault Efren there. That was one beautiful shot. Well, uh, no, I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not trying to say that he shouldn't have shot the. Fire. No, I'm saying he should have. It's a great shot. <coughs> Well, now, is he going to bank the 11? I'll tell you the way things are going. I think this is a good shot for him. Just let the cue ball almost replace the 11 like that. And if he makes it, he's in business. And if not, uh, no special problem. Efren's got to take the 11 out uh, or bank at it. Or that, was a, that was an excellent gamble there. Well, sure. What's he got to lose there? And I think Efren's got to bank at this. There's a scratch on this, though, if he's not careful. And now I think Shannon can cut the 13, no problem. And not only can he cut it in, the cue ball lays behind the 11, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it appears that it's, it, it's going to uh, come closely to the 11, two cushions. Uh-oh. Well... This is interesting because uh, I don't know exactly how I would play this. Uh, I would play the cue ball into the 15, way at down table. Like, okay, like that, that's the like shot. Like that, yeah. into the 15. No See, he way couldn't go. Uh, that's what I would allow him to play. And it fortunately off. for Shannon, he's going to be able to give effort in this ball. He's pretty lucky that he can do that here. Right. It's funny, you move that ball just another little Ooh, bit, boy, it's a different really story. Went to the right badly there. Okay, Efren knows two, Shannon has two. You're looking at two railing this ball or thinning it or uh, hard to tell. I don't know what he's looking at here. I think that ball is fine just where it is. I think that ball's fine just where it is. Well, it's okay to have fun when you're practicing, but that's not a a shot I don't think was uh, well advised. Now, Shannon can uh, uh, probably put this match away here. He makes these two balls. He'll be leading with four balls minimum. He could get more, but uh, an effort knows to a six-ball lead. Well, he didn't make the bank. Uh, he's left him a bank. I don't know if he did or not. Can he beat the kiss here? I guess he can. Yeah, I think he can, yeah. 
Gotta hit this with no English. He cannot load it up with inside English. Well, he's looking at uh, something else there. Two rail and the six, perhaps. Well, unless something really strange happens, Billy, I think this match is pretty much over. All the body language, the shot selection, uh, would suggest that Shannon has really already won this match. Well, I just shoot the 12 and come down table, open up the bank for the yeah. 15 or something. Don't try to make <laughs> something out of nothing here. You know, you uh, need three and he needs a 10. No, he needs four. Okay, he's got four. Oh, he needs four, and Effer needs ten. Right. He's double banking this ball. Oh, that's all right. There's nothing matter with that. That's a good shot. As uh, long as he gets it far enough. Uh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, once again, Effer is upping to shoot offensively. Well... When everything's going right, he slides behind the nine four one two fifteen and all of that. But uh, uh, it doesn't seem to work right uh, <coughs> sometimes, you know. He tries to slide behind the fifteen three. Well, I know how he thinks the fifteen and three go and stuff. But uh, now, uh, meanwhile, uh, that wasn't even a good effort there. No. He just throwing his stick his at the ball. His cue ball is three feet yeah. from where he wanted it He's to be. He's just throwing his stick at the balls now. All right, that's what I said. I think it's pretty much, uh, this match is pretty much over. Now, he can't bank to 15 here. Uh, if you use a high ball, you can sell out. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can scratch, rather. Right. And if you use anything else, you can sell out. And there's five balls there on that far right-hand side rail that are makeable under the right circumstances. You couldn't put a gun on me and make me bank this 15. I, I would never bank it either. Even if he makes it, uh, I don't think it's a, uh, a good shot. The 12 goes here. Uh, uh, Efren can't quite shoot it. If you move that 15 a few inches, uh, he could shoot it. And it could get interesting. I don't know if I would move the 15 now. I think he, uh, I think he needs to do something with it. Now, you know, he, uh, well, he can't, uh, I'm sorry to say he might, uh, what is this? This is, uh, well, I'll tell you, that's great is what that is. <laughs> well, no, but it, it also it bears does. out the point, you know, Efren wants to shoot. And it bears out the point that you and I brought up with those five balls up there. There's a lot of cute things that might be possible. Now, I don't even mess around with this. I'm going to get rid of that nine. Uh, well, maybe not this shot, but. I think Shannon's going to end up getting in trouble here. Well, he could. He could, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't think I like him shooting at this ball over the 12 ball. I think that's very difficult to be accurate. Okay, we've got a little better bridging of it than I well, thought. He's going to go into the ball, the ball no, the foot play. spot. Okay, good, good. Well, he didn't end up with anything. Now, he can knock that 10 on his side. And follow over to the rail and down behind the 15. Oh, he crossed it. Okay, I didn't know he had room to cross it. Well, he's gotten himself even now. Yeah, he sure has. And Shannon's going to give him this ball. Rail first, probably. Oh, I don't know that I like that. Uh, boy. 
not giving him that ball could end up being expensive. Well, you know what I would? If he can't bank this, I would just knock it over to Shannon's long cushion. He's playing a three-railer. What do you think about this? He's giving this? him this ball. He's trying to, I think. Oh, uh -uh, he's banking it. Uh, okay, good shot. Great shot. Very nice. Okay, Shannon Dalton has five balls, effing none. He has fought his way back and got even. But at the moment, it's going to be, uh, uh, it would appear that it's going to be very tough for Efren to come out of this, Billy. Yeah, if, if Shannon plays a uh, good common sense one pocket from this point out, it's going to be very difficult for Efren to walk away with this, with this win. Well, he hit that thickly. Yeah, he didn't make a good shot there. Now, this is interesting because if Efren can get these three balls, uh, not to mention the fact that the three and four at the other end of the table also go in his pocket, this match could... Uh, Looks like he's got a good angle, too. Yeah, he's got a nice angle. Sure, he can come up for a position on the nine. And Shannon's unhappy because he knew he was just playing a simple safety. and He sure didn't mean to do that. Now he's going to play position for the six here, I believe. Well, I started to say he didn't have to, that he could come down here like this. Look at this. Look at look at this. Oh, boy. Look at this. You now the t four goes and the three and the goes, three goes. And that's what I six. said, yeah. So, you know, he has potential after striking the ball as well as he just did to run three more balls. Right, that's what I said. Uh, and all of that started when Shannon banked that one shot. Uh, kind of... Now that's two freaky scratches for Efren this rack. Well, I don't know if I would call that necessarily freaky. Uh, you know the cue ball's going. How many times in nine ball, Billy, have have you we scratched two across the corner? You sent that cue ball screaming in the direction of that pocket. It's going to go in somewhere. Well, else. you could be right, but I didn't think that. Uh I didn't think that he deserved that. I didn't say he deserved that. He's a fine gentleman. I wouldn't ever say that. For choosing to... Uh, anyway, Shannon needs shoot one, and he's going to go uh, two rails into those. No, or one rail with no English. Either way is okay. <coughs> well, there's uh, seven on the table and seven in Shannon's tray. Rail first. Touch the left English. Right English, rather. Excuse me. Nice shot, nice shot. Ooh. I like going two rails and load this up with English and just knock that ball the hell out of there. Yeah, one or two rails. Uh, I, I like two, but he may go one. Oh, he got cute and used the other English. Did you see that? No. <laughs> That's all right. I don't, I don't care what English he uses. Yeah, it, it assures him of uh, controlling the cue ball yeah. a little bit better. <coughs> Now, see, Efren, uh, with all his great strengths, doesn't, uh, he doesn't have the patience of Nick Varner. He can't play the wedge. No way. No, there's no wedge here. Now, Nick, see, you <laughs> I learned something from you. Nick would be, as I see this, about eight minutes away from having that right-hand corner into a wedge, <laughs> exactly. right? Exactly. Which would thrill Julian and uh, Pat. <laughs> uh, Oh, they like to film those intricate safeties, 100 of them in a row. And, of course, Shannon, he would he would love to have the wedge and just battle it out one isolated <laughs> ball at a time, right? Against Reyes, but that's not going to happen. As you can see, Reyes is much more creative or is willing to be much more creative. And sometimes the, uh, your own creativity is your own uh, undoing. That's for sure. Well, 
Now, see, he can't make stuff where there isn't anything. This tree ball won't go two rails, I don't think. And even if it did, it'd take a perfect hit to gain nothing. Well, it would go. Okay, nice shot. Okay, seven balls to one, advantage Shannon Dalton. Hill Hill at the Legends of One Pocket in Baton Rouge. <coughs> and I tell you what, now he's got to, you make the, uh, if, if the one doesn't go in Shannon's pocket, uh, you can make the ten here and begin to maybe get some stuff done and hide the cue ball, all right? Yeah, that, that's, that's a start. You got to start somewhere. That's what I would want to do is get me two or three balls in there <laughs> that would go and so forth. Well, I don't know. Maybe Efren can play the wedge. Well, it was uh, actually something that he fell into. He didn't uh, voluntarily do this. Now, see, I play the Freddy the Beard Chicago style of one pocket in this situation. Now, if I need one, I don't ever want to be the first guy to make a ball down there. I mean, not ever. Well, at least if Efren can't make another ball behind it, then hook to hook him from the, uh, from the two balls on the foot spot. Now, the Chicago style of game, the 10 goes right back up the table here. Mm, well, you don't look at the two ball here. No, there's no reason to do anything else other than that anyways. And well. Varner just rolls the 10. I don't. You know what I do here? Balls. I take a chance here. I bank the two ball from my pocket, making sure I don't get a kiss. And I try to make the one while I'm at it and leave the cue ball down there on top of some stuff. And, and I want to get this over with. If I can't win from here, I can't win. But I, w I want to get a couple balls in play and, and get something started. Well, you'll never be a, a, a member of the wedge club. That's no, sure. I don't like to play the wedge <laughs> game either. Unless I need one. Then I'll play it. I like it then. Now, this is perfect. Uh, Jack Clooney had two rail this, uh, backing that into the wedge. Mm -hmm. Oh, Shannon's being loose, so see, he's leaving it out in the open. Yeah. <laughs> Daring, if you will. <laughs> uh, and he forces Efren to drive it back over on that side of the table. It's gonna, they're going to open up in a minute and somebody will have a shot. He's going to thin the tin ball, I suppose, and back down the table. Now he can shoot at this if he wants, but see, I don't think this is a good shot. No, this isn't the type of a shot that he should shoot. No, this is no good. But in a minute here, it might, might get tough to uh, defend against banks. Now, is the two ball in the way of the two railer? It looks like it might be. Mm hmm. He made sure he played it long. Wouldn't go. I don't know if I like that, what he just did. Well, it puts a ball in play that uh, gives Efren some possible options. Now, don't you hit the seven into the four. Freeze him on the two. Freeze him on a two ball, right? 
now uh, I think he can hit it just uh, hard enough to maybe make the 14, and if he can't, maybe the next shot. And I don't think he can make anything, uh, but he can freeze him on that too. Okay. Well, he, be he begins to make something happen here. I mean, shooting this 12 right now is kind of wooden in my view. And this is an easy shot to uh, put him on top of the two ball. A little bit of left English just come gently off the rail. Like, see, I oh, thought he, he, I he thought could. That, right. He now, could. isn't that a nice shot, being yeah. able to do that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Now, not only that, it tempts Shannon to maybe make something else or knock something out in the middle of the table or something. Well, right? well Shannon's shooting the right shot. He's going to try to position the two ball near his pocket. And that's a nice shot. This set could be over. Ooh. Well, if you're effing, do you have the guts to make the 14 and try to go rail first and move the two ball? Yeah, I think you got to shoot I the 14. I think you have to. you got to shoot the 14 and uh, take your chances. Nice shot. He, he tried. Well, now he's got to cross this ball going to the end rail, and this, this is, is fraught this with isn't, peril. This isn't easy at all. No, this is tough as it comes. And that's a nice shot. Got to give him credit. One heck of a nice shot. <laughs> Audience likes it. Well, I think he's going to take a pop at this. Well, you have to. Uh, the only question is, what do you do with the cue ball? Now, I don't want to go into those balls up to the other end. I might if I'm behind, but certainly not ahead. I think he's going to take a pop at it and just hit it uh, with the strokes that it lends to accuracy. Like that. Yeah, but this can happen just like that, too. Yeah, but I, but that's really... I, I, I like what he did, even though the results of the shot didn't come out. Well, I liked everything he did, except I would not have wanted to go into those balls. Now, all of a sudden, this could get a little cute here. Efren has two. Here's three, four. And don't think that he's, uh, uh, well, uh, not, I started to say, beyond uh, getting that two out of there as he pockets one of these. Now it's not so easy to do much of anything. I just play to uh, uh, be able to knock this two ball on the next shot up by those three balls. But now it's seven to four in balls. Oh, my, oh I thought he missed that. I don't like where he got here. Now, he's got to cross this. And uh, from this angle, th this is a tough shot to gauge sometimes. Sometimes you hit it too thin. Sometimes you get a double kick. He's going to kick it, is he? Yep. Oh, he banked it. All right, well, that's yeah. a good shot. He got that's a nice shot. Yeah, Chan will dig out, dig it out here underneath it. Got too deeply under it. And of course, this is something you get. This is. No, I don't shoot at this. I play to hit this too thick. Yeah, needing all the balls there. It's a bad gamble to go for the pocket. See, I hit it a little too thick, but he well, he went for it. But now this is a shot. See that Shannon, uh, the great of banker as he is, he can use outside Shannon, on this. Uh, Shannon is no more than a seven to five hundred dog. Right, shot. and cue ball roughly two rails into the ten ball here. Low, right-hand English, like this. Uh-oh, watch out. Boy, I didn't like the way he played it. He didn't, he didn't dig underneath it at all. No. Uh, he, didn't put this, he didn't put that stroke on it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am at a loss for words. Uh, uh, not because the caliber of play in this match hasn't been wonderful. At just uh, how quickly good fortune changes. And... Uh, it, it, just totally unexpected. Now, if Efren makes his five and falls in on the two ball, uh, we're going to be knotted up at six balls each. Uh, he didn't quite get there. Now, I might take a kick at this. I'm, I don't know that Efren will or should, but uh, with the <coughs> balls out of play at the other end, uh, and if I do, I want to go two rails, not one. I don't think he should take a kick at it. Okay, well, you may He's be lucky right. to get himself back. Yeah, he's in it. Uh, he this. trails five balls to six. Well, 
Boy, I don't like that. He left him a free shot on the 10. <laughs> it was a horrible shot. I mean, shot. he found the only place on the it table where he could shot. give him a shot on the 10. And he uh, makes a one here, too, probably, which is, or he didn't have to. Okay, nice shot. Yeah, you'd almost have to take the cue ball and place it with your hand in that spot to leave a shot. Yeah, he's getting himself in trouble now. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, what is this? This is not easy to get out of. Now, there isn't anything here. Uh, I don't see any way to... He's looking to bank the uh, seven. Which I is know, but it's not on. There's a kiss here. Yeah, it's too bad. It's. I don't know what he's trying to do. Oh, he's, he's making this okay. That's okay. Well, I don't see how that's okay. Doesn't Shannon just make the seven here? And uh, No, Shannon, no, I don't think so. Shannon, too. He's not well, but Everett needs three, and there's three down there. Yeah, but... The, but, but you know what he's got here, too. Uh, well, he could... Hit the high side of the one, like to cross it, but maybe hit it gently into the two ball. I don't know. That's one thought in the cue ball uh, over to the side, right? That's what I would do. I would just hit, shoot the one toward the two and roll the cue ball down table. If I don't think he's going to leave anything if he does that. No, I don't either. The two won't bank. He's cutting at this. You know, I was playing in a one-pocket tournament in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's amazing. He didn't scratch. In 1972. Look at that shot. And I was playing Larry Johnson in 1972. We both needed one ball. It was Hill Hill. And I had the same shot he just had. And I made it scratch two in the corner. I'll never exactly. forget it. Well, I made that shot that year I won the tournament in Olathe on Shannon from the same angle that he had. All right, Shannon needs one. And what a great shot. And we talked about it earlier in this contest, too. He and I played the same rule on that. If we're as much as one inch away from that corner facing, we shoot at it on good equipment like this. Now, he's going to bank the seven into the ten. That's a little, or miss the ten. But he could scratch two rails here himself if he's not careful. Well, I, I tell you what, I don't even hesitate here. I cut the seven and go back up the table. I try to cut the seven into the thin ball and go one rail back up the table. I played over, cut of the hair. Yeah, you can't fool with the frozen ball. No, and uh, this is a nice shot. I mean, uh, he's not really trying to make anything. Just like that, oh but he, well, he hit it too thick. He butchered it. Yeah, he hit it too thick. Yeah, he's going to bank the seven here. Well, I, I don't know that that option is, uh, you know, the cue ball can draw into the two ball here. No, no, he'll be well away from that. Hmm. Well, hmm. I like moving both of these, hmm. but uh, the problem is t they don't move. See, if he hits a seven first, he hits a two way too thickly, and he scratches, believe it or not. It, it takes a cue ball towards the pocket, a good chance of a scratch. And if he hits a two first, he double kisses it. So uh, he's in trouble here. I, I think I'd have to take a one rail kick at the seven easily. That's what I would do with it. <clears throat> or just take a kick at it and try to kick the seven into the two and knock the two towards my pocket and go back up the table with the cue ball. That's not a bad shot here. I don't see any way to hit the seven or the two thickly and get out of this. He's looking at a kick. Uh, I wouldn't kick at it real hard. No, but just a nice medium speed. And what I would do here, just accidentally, in case I have missed the whole ball, because I would want to miss this on the thin side. If I miss it, I'm going to hit it hard enough to get down the table. So that the ball on the spot is, uh, isn't all that easy. So I think he's got a nice shot to win taking a kick at this. That's a great shot. Great shot. Now, notice how he took some of the high ball off of it, hit it easier. Otherwise, he scratches there. That's a nice shot. Beautifully done. Now, you can kick easily, or I like the rail first. Low left angle. Just try to knock the 10 up around the side pocket. Like that. Good shot. 
And if you can get it close to the side, sometimes it'll get in a spot that's touchy, like this one did. This is not an easy shot at all. We're going to change tapes. Be right back. Okay, all right, we're, we're just back. a couple of short safeties, but Efren still needs all the balls. Uh, you know, Shannon's creative juices are really flowing, too, even in the little simple safety departments. You notice how he's keeping Efren off balance. Now, this is a kiss on this shot. I don't like the two-railer here, and I don't like kissing the 10 off the 7, either. Now, he's going to do it, but he's going to be really careful. There's also yeah, a scratch. Don't scratch. That's what I'd be concerned about. I don't think there's a kiss, but he better not scratch here. Now, if he banks this, there's a kiss on this, it looks like to me. Yeah, uh, there wouldn't be if he could get some left English on it, but he can't get much left English, or right English, rather. He can't get much on it because it's on the rail. Ooh, close. I'll tell you what, that's one nice shot there. Mm -hmm. speed, of, speed of the shot played well for him also. Well, he's going to give it t to him, which uh, is what he's supposed to do. I tell you, this is some pool match here, Billy. <laughs> uh, I, I swear, this has had something of everything. Courage, patience, knowledge. It certainly has been suspenseful, I know yeah. that. I mean, they've been fighting every game. And every game could have went either way. Uh, this is a tough shot. I don't like this kind of shot. I don't see he's got anything except lagging into the seven easy. But I don't like to leave my opponent close to balls, uh, but you don't really have much choice here. Actually, that that's about as well as he could have hoped for. I'll tell you what, there's a shot here. Yeah, it's a billiard on the seven. It's a four-railer on the two <laughs> and a one-railer on the seven. Yeah. And if Efford sees it and shoots it, this is some kind of pool shot. He uh, could he could uh, make the seven and get shape on the two. Yeah. The wouldn't seven be, could that, go here. Be, look at he's looking at it. The seven could go here. But if he shoots this. Uh, that's right. There he goes. The seven uh, could, could have gone. You know that that's a great yeah. shot when you need both of yeah, them, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Now Shannon has a better bank than Efren had, but what he's got to watch is scratching it in the far right-hand corner. This is such a natural scratch; you can't get quite as much English as you would like. You got to beat the kiss, so and and you're in business. It's that's over. It's over. Well, Billy, I can't remember doing a match that I enjoyed more. Are we going to do, uh, okay. Uh, I really enjoyed that match. Uh, just spectacular, the play in it. And we'll have Shannon up here in, in, in uh, just a moment to chat with him and get his views on things, including his impending finals class with the great Buddy Hall. All right, he'll be coming up here just in, in just a minute. Yeah. Shannon, that was one of the best pool matches I ever saw in my life. Uh, we were really proud of the way you held it together there. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, you made some great shots. Man, Billy, what do you have to say? To well, you? I thought that he played, uh, I thought you played very well throughout the entire match. And that when the score was three to one in Efren's favor, it was a lot closer than what the score had indicated. Yes, it was. Yeah, a, a couple of times I got hooked by a fraction of an well, inch. Well, you remember that great shot you made and you end up on top of the five ball yeah, where you can't I'm, do anything. I, I jacked up and banked the six straight back and come back against the five just hooked uh, by anyway, centimeters. Anyway, instead of being two apiece at that point, three, three one. to one his yeah, favor, you difference. just had to claw and fight and scratch. Right. And, uh, but we felt the momentum change because, uh, all because of your playing and your thinking. I sensed that you really had him off balance the last couple of games. I think I did too, to be honest with you. You I, really did. I, I uh, feel like he was afraid to leave me a shot. Exactly. I think it was and vice versa. He was playing tentatively and not knowing what to do. He was Correct. unsure of himself. He was scared to leave me a bank too. Yeah. In fact, there was one game there where he wasn't in any trouble, and it's almost like he had to look for a way to leave you a shot, and he right. did it. Right. Correct. You know? 
correct? Yeah, he still, he really didn't play uh, well against you there the last couple games. I know that, and it had a lot to do with your ability when you got to the table, what you were doing. When you I were got hitting it, it, you were hitting everything really accurately and doing what you needed to do. A couple times you went to the table and you got some bad rolls. That that was the only thing that stopped your momentum. Correct. But uh, he he kind of he definitely felt your presence at the, the game. Table. Was when I stole the game uh, when he was ahead three to one. That's the momentum changer right there. Yeah. When I yeah. made that that bank, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even think it would go. I just tried to play it as close to the ball as I could. The seven ball bank. It, it well, we talked about yeah, it up I, here, I and I told Billy I thought the other ball blocked part of the pocket. It and he so said, close. "Yeah, but he can he can kind of drag it by there." And son of a gun, if that's not exactly what and you did. After I made it, the slow roll shot I made on the four, I believe it was yeah. slow rolling right. in the pocket. I mean, that's a lot of pressure right there on yeah, that shot yeah. right there. Actually, it wasn't your style of the slow roll up, but of course, when you both need one ball, you're forced to do that. You know. Yeah, I couldn't fire at it. No. If I fire at it, it circles the table and I sell out. I got to <laughs> shoot it easy and just well, hope, anyway, hope I hit it perfect. Uh, congratulations. I've never seen better one pocket played, and we can't wait to see you and Buddy in the finals. Thank you, and gentlemen, good luck very much. You. Appreciate you all Thanks doing for coming. it. Well, frankly, I think much. that you really deserve the spot in the finals, particularly the way you went through the losers' bracket. I think that's 10, 10 match, 10 or 11 in a row. You know, I mean, that's what I, I was about to all talented players, too. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was about to say. I mean, you really have beaten the best players in this tournament on your way to the finals. Correct. I just told uh, I'm just glad to be back playing good pool again. That's well, you I'm are that. It's a, it's a sheer pleasure for us to watch. Yeah. Well, and I appreciate how, it very how much. Do you, uh, how do you actually feel going into the finals against Buddy Hall? I feel like I'm a favorite. All right. That's <laughs> the luck. way you're supposed to feel. <laughs> well, thanks, Shadow. Thank you good luck. Well, Billy, what else is there to say? That's some of the finest pool I've ever witnessed. And, uh uh, I, I just can't wait to till the finals. Yeah. And with these I, great I can't thoughts wait either. Uh, in mind, I think we can say a uh, good day to everybody. Okay, uh, don't forget, the, if you happen to be watching this tape, don't forget to ask Pat about the finals match because that figures to be just as interesting and possibly just as close as this one was. 1-800-828-0397.